Moo! Hi, chat! How's it going? Hi, Woosie! Congrats on being first! Hi, Kurgane! Hi, Vinyl! Hi, Pavlov! <laughs> Hi, Titus. Hi, Dark. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Shay. Hi, we. Purple, it's your favorite color. Aren't you excited? Hi, Snowball. How's it going? How's everyone today? Oh, God, I missed a- Ow! Uh, I missed a lot of stuff. What are you guys talking about? Ooh, I see some predictions. Some predictions from my model, huh? Mm -hmm. Someone was hoping for a nude cow. That's uh uh not not gonna happen. I'll tell you that one right now. But the others though, anthro cow maybe. Furry cow, just a cow cow. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. How's it going, everyone? I hope everyone's doing good. Why are you up there? Shush. Base god, base god, cow kini. Ooh, hi koi. I'm liking that one. Oh shit chat. Are you ready? I'm excited you're leaving me hanging, cow. Why am I literally hanging up in the air? Prediction? What the who's predicting what now? What's going on here? Oh shit, well, I guess I'll wait for that prediction to go away uh once it's done. Hi Salt, how's it going? Hi Luno! Hi Sen. I can't wait to see April Fool's joke. Why would I do an April Fool's joke? It's April 2nd in some parts of the world. Probably not mine. Absolutely. I believe in the feet. Yo, you guys want feet pics? You guys want feet pics? Cow is very serious. Not a joke at all. True. I, I'm never sarcastic. I'm always deadpan serious. Pavel knows you the best. She's known me for a long time. It's true. Fucking lie. F cow feet are delicacy in some countries. Vinyl is right. It's disgusting, but he's right. Hi, zombies. Lies. What's a lie? That cow feet are delicacy? It's true. It was April Fool's. You owe me Mario Kart? What? My beating on last stream wasn't enough, Luno? Hi, like Conians. How's it going? Roger. Roger. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. All right. Come once on. this prediction is done, we're going in. Ooh, we got a raid from Princess Aldea. How's it going? Hi, everyone. I'm Confident Cow. I'm totally hiding off screen because uh, I'm revealing a new model today. I'm excited. Mods, can you do the thing where you shout them out? I'm not Aldea. I'm Aldea. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing names. How's it going? McBo scored kitten. How's it going? Uh, I, I missed someone. Wagrius. Wagrius. Wagrius? I'm never gonna give you up. What a, what a great raid message. I really appreciate it. My poor princess name. See, I would call you princess for short, but I have like three other princesses that are regulars in my chat. It gets confusing. All right, chat. Uh, I guess we'll start with the reveal. I hope you had a wonderful stream. You played Ocarina of Time. Ooh, is that Stay your first time playing? From the summoner. Or, or if you played Ocarina of Time before, let me know. April Fool's randomizer. Ooh, that's awesome. Ocarina of Time randomizers are pretty fun. With a Rick Astley model, that's amazing. All right, chat. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this show on the road. Are you ready? All right, so whoever chose uh, feet first was correct. Uh, we're going to start with the feet. To be fair, though, to be fair, I did this last time when I revealed uh, my, my Cal 2.0. I hope you guys are ready. Are you guys ready? Oh. Oh. Feet! 
Who wants feet pics? Look, feet! Feet! We got the tail! We got the tail! Ow! <laughs> Luno, sit. I'm sniffing so much. Trust me, these are clean feet. Ow! Hi, Shooter Loot! We got the tail! We got the pants! Hell yeah, I hope you guys like the swinging tail. Put them grippers away. Oh, whoa. Alright, we got the knees. Ready for the thighs? Ooh, chat, who are thigh fans? Any thigh fans in chat? Oh, look at them thighs! Oh, shit! And hands! We got hands! Chat, feet or hands? Are you a feet guy or are you a hand guy? Or gal? Thick thigh save lives. Ow. There's my jacket! Look at it, it's so red! My shirt, my shirt. Ow. My logo! You gotta always have the logo. Always. Ow! Are you ready? Are you ready? The bell! Iconic! That's the bottom's thigh cuff? What does that even mean? What does it even mean? Alright. I'm gonna do the face all at once. Are you ready? Alrighty. Boom! Isn't that awesome? Ah! Ow! <laughs> what do you think? Oh, hi, Baroness. How's it going? Give me my sub money back? Moo, 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 moo. Moo, ow! Hey, you guys like the new model? I love it. See, Snow likes it. Thanks, Snow. Appreciate it. Isn't that the same model? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm stretching, chat. I'm stretching. Hi, Kevin. How's it going? You're still sniffing? Yeah, I didn't know you were part dog, Luno. Is it good? Do you like it? I don't have quite the active nose. Ah, oh, thumbs up. Thanks, Koi. Thanks, Koi. Swinging tail's my favorite. Ow! Owie, why? Boo? Why the boos? Owie was waiting. What? Are you guys not happy? I was watching. Ow. Well, keep watching. Trust me. Ow. Isn't this a face and voice of someone who's so trustworthy? Hmm? Hmm? Don't tell Coco what I said. Slight letdown. Letdown. What would you guys have wanted? What would you guys think I was going to do today? It is April Fool's after all. Honestly, I kind of throw. I deserve those plushy throws. Another prediction. Oh. Lucy outfit on your model. Ooh. Dude, I'd rock it. I'd rock that outfit. See, snowballs, trust me. Stop. <laughs> Zero out of ten, no gender bent Coco model. You wanted a gender bent Coco model? Really? You know what they say, the more the merrier. Fem Coco would have been peak? What? Did you want this instead? Is this what you wanted, chat? Huh? Is this what you wanted? You wanted the big bouncing booba, didn't you? You naughty naughty chat. You naughty naughty chat. <laughs> Yo, 69 bits nice! <laughs> April Fools! It was a model after all. Got him. I got him, chat. We got him, boys! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him.
I hope you guys like it, chat. <laughs> Here, chat. I'll give you the full the full look. Look. Got I got my red jacket still. I got my crop top. I got I got them. Mmm, the thighs, remember? I told you thighs. I promised the thighs. Redo the feet reveal. Alright, I'll redo. I'll redo. I'll redo. I'll redo. I'll redo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, stop! <laughs> Ow. Squish me with those thighs, please. Ooh, woo. Alright, we'll redo the reveal. Uh, a little faster. Uh, okay, I'm gone. Oh, wait, there I am. There I am. Alright, chat. I got my kicks! I got my kicks! <laughs> Your mommy maker is a whoa? <laughs> Again with the sniffies. Chat, I got my tail, this time with a cute little bow. Gamer girl feet. Alright, chat. I'm I got instead of instead of black pants, I got the thigh highs. Got the thigh highs. And the and them thigh. Look at the thigh gap! Ooh, I've been working out, chat. I've been working out real good. A bow should be permanent. Well, I have the bow on my adult outfit, but uh, it doesn't really work too well with my casual outfit, I feel like. Screenshotting so much. Ooh, the squeeze. Squeezing between the thighs. Yeah, and we got my hands. My new girly hands. Now my hands look like- OW! My hands look like every other VTuber hands. Absolute territory. Ah, yes, the absolute territory. When you're done with your new model, give me a move like an anime girl with a cute new model. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, chat. This, this, uh, this, this jacket, this, this outfit comes with a couple of perks, a couple of perks. They should be out a little familiar. We got the hoodie. We got the hoodie. Just like my other model. Oh. Mm-hmm. And we got... Don't worry, chat. I know you guys want this already. But I can take off my clothes. There we go! Just like before, I can take off my jacket. Them boobas, though. So, I've been working on this model for the past month. Um, when I drew these, when I drew the boobs, Lucy told me I need to make the boobs bigger. Um, so I made them a smidge bigger. <laughs> yes, yes, woman. <laughs> I love women. Hell yeah, me too, Brie. Me too. <laughs> Splatoon 3 be like... How long did it take on the booba physics? Okay, so the booba physics... Um, actually didn't take too long. Coco, I don't know how to feel. You know, Vinyl had a very similar reaction. <laughs> Trinkets level of booba. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on this model this past month. It took me one week uh, to draw the model. Uh, and it took about a week and a half to rig it. Which, th all things considered, not bad. Not bad at all. Um... I had no one, I didn't tell anyone about this except for Vinyl and, and Woosie. They helped me out with some feedback. <gasps> Head oh, my head pads aren't working. No. Why aren't my head pads working? Oh. But yeah, I had their help uh, with some feedback and stuff. Um, it was kind of easy to re-rig since, you know, I still have the same, the same base model. The booba physics though, that was my first time doing booba physics. It actually wasn't too bad. It took me like, I don't know, maybe an hour? Maybe two hours to like perfect it? Good girls need their head pets. Thank you. Where is it? It's not working. Do I not have any item scenes? Head pet. Why aren't you showing up? Can I... Can I play? Hmm... Oh, sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. 
show the next oh yeah there is a little bit more there is a little bit more hmm where's my head pet head pet they're right here toggle item scene head pets why don't my head pets work i am sad sorry chat no head pets all right chat i hope you guys are are, are still ready ow still thirsty this this model has 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 another feature i don't know i don't know if i want to show i don't know if i want to show i don't know see the thing is chat when making when making a, a body right um especially since it's like my first time making a female body kind of kind of had to make sure my proportions were right in certain aspects so uh initially i kind of i kind of drew it without without a shirt on um oh man okay that's enough that's enough that's enough all right that's enough <laughs> <laughs> no more chat no more no more no more <laughs> don't forget chat there's other things i can do just like before i i have the hard eyes too i literally paid to see it <laughs> Chat, you're my favorite. Okay. Uh, I got redeemed a premium moo. Moo like an anime girl. Moo! No. Moo! Moo! I hate it. What do you hate, zombies? Coco, stop killing me, damn it. <laughs> I thought about doing, um, a whatchamacallit, a voice changer for today, only for today. Um, but they're all pay. Yeah, for all the ones I could find, I had to pay for them. I'm like, well, I'm not going to pay that much for an April Fool's joke. But yeah, chat, what do you think? What do you think of my model? Not bad, right? Turns out I can draw females pretty well. Before my experience was mostly males, but I guess I can do females too. Wow. <laughs> the boulder feels conflicted. I heard. Perfect Ubu. Um, I'm not sure how I want to use this model in the future. I was thinking initially like um, I'd make it a redeem. Maybe like a timed redeem? Or maybe I'll have two separate redeems where I'll have a timed redeem like uh, like my ultimate cow, right? Got my ultimate cow um, and I have my like my color change and that's for like three minutes. Maybe I can make a similar redeem for fem cow for three minutes. Maybe on some days I can use the cow on certain streams or maybe I can make it like maybe a higher tier redeem like instead of a thousand or I think 700 is what I have for my color change stuff. I can maybe make it like 5,000 or 10,000 to make it like a permanent change. I don't know. What do you think chat? Oh yeah, by the way, um, the I, I decided I don't really have too much of a crazy name for this model, but I kind of went with... Um, Fem Coco is the is the name of the model. Fem Coco. I, I I wanted it to maybe have a different name, but Coco is already kind of a female name, so. <laughs> Coco Rena, I got it. We'll call it Coco. Genius, genius. I want to make a Fem Koi Fire Emblem right and do a voice changer, but I don't want to pay for it either. Have you looked at the voice changers too, Koi? Because I looked. Um, I didn't look too hard. I checked for like an hour going through and downloading a bunch of different ones. But, but yeah. I couldn't find a good one. I do like your fem your fem koi art that I've seen. It's good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Oh Chad, do you prefer the jacket or the t-shirt? I bet you Chad prefers the shirt. 
I had no luck either. Gotcha. Prefer the bra. Oh yeah, I was gonna make that a redeem. I probably should make that a redeem. Maybe a high costing one for like a minute. I am really conflicted. Would you smash this model? See. Would you would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you chat? Would you? Hmm? With a bag on its head? Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, hi, Sue. How's it going? <laughs> Perfect timing. How's it going, Sue? Hi, Yggdrasil. Okay, for once I've been surprised at a VTuber's new model. <laughs> dead. Hiragane's dead. Rip. I tricky. I gotta confess something. It still looks like you. You know, it's kind of funny because uh, I was like, hmm, I think my face is too similar to my male face. But then when I like switch back to it. It's kind of not. It's kind of not. It's all in the little details chat. All in the little details. I'm gay for you, Coco, as a man to man. <laughs> Thanks, Trickster. Hi, Randy. How's it going? I saw you talk to a girl. What? You would smash but with a paper bag? Hey, questioning if I drank too much. No. In fact, I think I should keep on drinking some more, Sue. <laughs> okay, chat. I have a little bit more planned for today. Uh, besides my model. Uh. Oh, yeah. I need to, I need to post the announcement in case, in case people have missed it. Uh, on, on my Discord and stuff. There we go. I got my announcement. I got my my tweets. Something went wrong. Uh, hmm. OK, my tweet went through. That's all that matters. <laughs> there we go. I never I like your personal teens. <laughs> that doesn't even that doesn't flow well. Never. He didn't even try. Happy April Fools. Happy April Fools, chat. I <laughs> just noticed the ear tag. Yep. A little Easter egg if you're paying attention. <laughs> today feels like a good day for me to take up drinking. <laughs> Unfortunately, the overlay was like a last minute thing. Um, so I didn't I didn't get to actually change like all of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, chat, um, I, I, I posted it, right? Uh, actually, you know what? That'd be fun. That'd be fun to show. Big cow. We go big here. We go big mode. We go ow. Ow. The pink actually looks pretty good. Okay, let's uh full screen. What button was that? Okay, uh your chat. I just posted this, right? Um I just like what's interesting is the size comparison. Like, I, I, I made myself shorter, right? Got to get that femme, you know, that hourglass shape, you know? Got to get that hourglass shape. Uh, and I, I accidentally made myself a short stack. <laughs> that wasn't the plan when drawing this model. I kind of just started from the top down. I'm like, okay, we got to make myself a girly face. We got to have the eyelashes. 
They gotta have the thinner eyebrows. A little bit more makeup, right, right? Um, I was gonna have- I had heavier makeup at one point, but then like a slut, and that's not the vibe I'm going for. Um, <laughs> like, especially since that's why color is red. Red lipstick, like, super red eyeliner, and then like red nails, I look like a hooker. <laughs> To not, to not, I did not like where that went. Um, there was some debating on some of the, the like, designs on this. Um, but yeah, when I made it, I was like, oops, I made myself a short stack. <laughs> I was gonna go like, yeah, all right, we'll make, we'll make Coco shorter, right? We'll make her a little shorter than the normal one. You know, my guys, my, my, my male model's supposed to be average male height, so we'll make her shorter. And then, like, I was like, oh, well, I mean, I gotta have thick thighs, right, chat? Thick thighs save lives. And then, I, when I was done, I was like, oh. Oh, shit, I made a short stack. All right, chat, I'm back. Okay, sorry for the crash. Uh, very unfortunate that um, OBS is crashing. I thought that was just because Resident Evil was too strong. I guess the real reason is OBS sucks weenies. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that problem later. Hi, can I get an iced latte with breast milk? I mean breast milk? I mean breast milk, sorry. I mean breast milk, sorry. I meant... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I think now's a good opportunity to reveal what I'm playing today. I'm gonna be playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Anyone know what that is? I've actually heard about it when it first came out a few years ago. Um, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler slash uh, dating sim. Where, you, where your swords are boys. So chat, we're gonna be hunting for a new boyfriend. So Coco, how's your gobification are going? Uh, what, what does that mean? What do you mean gobification? Uh... Is it this one? Here we go. Here's my table chat. All right, now is it? Now it's plushy time. Well, plushy on the table time. You guys already have thrown me plenty of plushies. Ow! Where for dungeon is a game that proves Coco is a total bottom. Oh, oh, oh. you're way off, Lyconius. Way off. I'm actually the dummy mommy here. Woosie. We got Chrissy. We got plushies. Hopefully OBS doesn't crash again, knock on wood. Um, I'm gonna have to look up what the problem is because I haven't changed my settings or anything and it started happening when Resident Evil came out. Um, I updated OBS after I started crashing. Uh, maybe I should just like restart. Um, like re reinstall OBS or something. You're still a bottom. <laughs> me, a bottom. Are you kidding me? Look at these. Look at these. Look at these thigh highs. 
You telling me these are thigh highs of a bottom? Oh yeah, chat. Actually, I did want to show you that. Hold on, I wanted to show you that. Uh, before before everything crashed. Real quick, real quick. Uh, chat. Cause I want I want to show you like the difference. Um. So you know when designing when designing my character, I was flip flopping on on how I wanted to design them. Oh, I deleted them. Did I? Oh, here. Oh no, here we go. I threw them in here. Uh, which one is the last one? Here we go. Top arc, here I come. It's okay, I will top him now that he has a smaller body. Oh, Lucy, does that make you buy? You were already the top, Lucy. Zombies, don't lie to her. Those are some legs for steppies. Bottom stick me worth thigh high? <laughs> Freaking not from what I've seen. Did you make the transition scenes? I did. Oh, oh, sorry. You mean the um uh the scene transition? No, 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 I didn't do that. That was made by Spooky. Uh I have their credit in in my credits un underneath uh my Twitch description. Uh okay. Alright, chat. So anyways, what I was saying, um I showed Vinyl and Lucy my design beforehand and I got their input on things. Here we go. Um, I was waffling between like on, on how I want to do the thigh highs. This is the final result, right? Um, but I was originally I wanted to do white and black. Uh, here we go. This is what I thought about doing originally. With the thigh highs, one white, one black, gotta stick with the th cow theme, right? Um, but the problem was the white belt on the white thigh high didn't really look that good in my opinion. Uh, and the other two agreed. So then like I switched it like, oh, maybe I can do black and white. Um, which, uh, there it is. All right, I was gonna do the black and white. But then like it felt like one side was too white and one side was too black. And then there it is, the white belt on the white thigh high. Didn't really look good. So, um, I ended up going with, with the black thigh highs. Uh, this was like Lucy's suggestion to do the black ones because it'd be like my model because I wear black pants. So I was like, oh, you know what? That makes sense. It makes it more, makes it more rule 63, you know? So uh, where's the R34? Oh, that's next year's April Fool's show. That's next year's April Fool's, the vaccine. Way to spoil it for everyone. All right, working on the R34, don't worry. Oh boy. But yeah, uh, that was that was sort of the, the design process. That was like the only part in which I was not sure about how I wanted to design the character. I did also try having sleeves on the t-shirt like I do on, on male Coco, but I didn't quite like how it looked. I think, I think like the no sleeves works well with the crop top design. Um, but yeah, just a little fun fact, a little fun fact. Okay. It'll happen before then or we'll all forget. Yeah, either that or, you know. Long sleeve crop tops are cool. What the fuck? Well, it wasn't a long sleeve. It was just like the t-shirt sleeves, like 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 on my on my normal Coco. Uh, like this. You know, I have, I have my white sleeves here. I look so much more manly now that I have a female version to compare to. <laughs> So small, I am pretty small. Does my hands work? No, it doesn't seem to work. That's a shame. 
Must also be cool. What the fuck? Uh, it, it just, I think it looked better without it. Yeah, I'm a lot smaller than, than Mel Coco. Okay, chat, it's time for Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh, knock on wood, OBS don't crash on me. Thanks. Uh, now that April Fools is like in full effect, um, like what are some good April Fools jokes that you've guys seen so far? Uh, my personal favorite, and it started like before it was April Fools for at least where I live, um, was the Sonic one. Uh, the visual novel called "The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog" looks great. I actually plan on playing that next week, um, but I already had this. This whole thing planned. There we go. Alright chat, are we ready? Ready to hunt for some boyfriends? Time to pick up a good man. This was prank was okay. I didn't get to see that. I did. Oh, that one. Oh yeah, the freaking always on notification icon. Ugh. He did it last year too. Boy, do I hate it. There we go. All right, what options? Full screen, 19, uh-huh, yep. Got a shield. Oh. I can choose my beverage? Alright, uh. That looks like coffee. Uh, I don't want coffee. Boba tea. Is that. What is that? This is a can of soda. What is this? I can't tell. All different Hazen and Miku's meeting each other in the couple stage has been the highlight of my day. Okay, so you show me that, Vinyl? What are these different Hatsune Miku's? Uh, Kajija made her entire stream duck theme instead of bear with a new duck soda. Oh, that's amazing. I've thought about doing something somewhere like that. I will go bark bark wolf wolf bark bark. <laughs> Cryo, are you okay? Are you okay, Cryo? I mean, I did that last year, actually, in a way. I did, uh, I was confident cat. Uh, tr true cattle who were there from the start, they remember. I was confident cat for a day. My favorite part about being confident cat was um, you could probably still look up the Discord logs. Uh, I literally every single sentence I made was a cat pun. Every single sentence. It was hard, but <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing something that stupid. <laughs> Only real cows know. Yeah, only real cows know. Nice model, buddy. Looks good. Thank you, Cryo. Thank you. I, I worked very hard on it this past month. I actually kind of wanted to do this last year, but uh, I didn't go through with it. Mr. Yi Long, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the cattle. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing good today. Guys, you really did it. It got so annoying, but on God, it cured my depression. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. You're talking about the the cat puns. Yes, I every sentence was a cat pun. It was great. Hi, Huber. Got seen your new model and need to tell you I will have nightmares for any decades. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why you don't like the model. Why, why, why doesn't Huber like the model, Chat? I worked hard on it. I don't like it. The many cat furs would be proud of that. <laughs> this game story involves exposure to unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Okay. You know, this very happy music, you know, feel good, like R&B type shit, and then we get this dialogue. This is gonna be a game.
Uh, name. Well then, obviously, obviously we're Coco. Uh, pronouns. All right, chat. Um, what pronouns do we go with here? Cause you know, I I am he him, right? But today I'm Fem Coco. So should I go she her? What do you think? Uh, I'm glad it doesn't change my options on who I date. Another reason I'm not mod anymore. Oof, oof. It's not sure going hard for sure. It's good shit. Go with Elder Says Horror. Unfortunately, Hoover, I don't see that option here. All right, we'll go with she, her chat. She, her approved. Hairstyle. Okay. Uh, what's the closest? We got Wavy's kind of close. Not short, not buzz cut, not bowl cut. We are not coconut head today. Curly? Long? Not that long. Thinking wavy. Should we go wavy or should we go, should we go long? What do you think? She hurt for the win. I love women. Hell yeah, I also love women. Big women fan, this Coco guy. Yeah, the warning is there in case someone playing might have experienced those things themselves and wants to avoid it. Yeah, that's a fair disclaimer to have. I just kind of wasn't <laughs> expecting it. Long is better? All right, long it is. All right, we're gonna stick with black. Can't change my eye color, Sag. Oh, I, we can change your eye shape. Uh, round, heavy. Oh, wow, it's angry. Uh, sleepy, smiling. I like smiling, big fan, big fan. Tough. Round, I like rounds. I'm a big round fan. Found of round things. R63, Coco loves women confirm. <laughs> it's true. Like them boobs? Yeah. Round boobs are good boobs. Most boobs are rounds, I guess. Round things like what? Like boobs. Like eyes. This game sometimes sends you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? If your answer is no, we will disable these messages. Why wouldn't I want supportive text messages from mom? Why couldn't I have supportive? Can I choose dad? Can I have supportive text messages from dad? Is that, is that an option? The, yeah, the, the sounds sus. In case you have a bad relationship with mothers. Yeah, couldn't you get someone from like dad instead? fan of round things. Remember to keep Coco away from beach balls and cantaloupes. Why? I like playing beach volleyball. <laughs> Hand holding already salute. So this model is a permanent thing, right? Well, what do you guys think I should do with the- Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. What do you think I should do with the model? Do you think I should have it? I was thinking about having it redeem, but like it'd be a temporary redeem, like my color, my color changing ones. Or I can make it a permanent redeem. Or like, but it would be expensive. I could have both. I could have some streams be Fen Coco, like, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. I'm, I'm currently thinking Fem Coco cheaper redeem for like a couple of minutes, a uh, higher expensive redeem for permanent. But. But currently not sure yet.
Yo, is that a sub from Princess Ruby? Congrats on the eight months. Hell yeah, Ruby. Thank you so much for the support. Fem Coco, huh? I'd smash. <laughs> oh, I'd smash too, Ruby. I'd smash Fem Coco too. Have it be a mommy redeem and attempt. Smash? Who, me? Or Jesse? But I mean, I'd, I'd smash me. Ah! And be 10. You should do like Oka where you redeem between different models. Okay. Okay. Redeems. Make it redeem that costs one coin and no cooldowns. How is hotter, Lucy or Femcow? I think we're both equally hot. Equally hot. <laughs> it's been a long 10 years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Uh, who are you again? Oh, you don't remember me? I was thinner and younger then. Miserable too. <laughs> this game is a little loud. I'm gonna need to turn it down. Anyway, I'm your cousin. Last time we met, uh, let's see. I'm scared to hit pause to try to change the settings and- I was in college. Can't. And you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. Smash. Ah, oh, wait, the voice is gone. You can stay here till my lease is out in September. I moved out to live with my parents last month. So you get free rent. Yay, free rent. Hmm. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. Um, what problem? Your mom said you hadn't gone on a date. Like, not in your whole life. Yo. Who told you these details? It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. <laughs> or if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic friendly hangouts. Those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Yeah, free sounds nice, right? In this economy? Rona Beach is the town for lovers. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? I took a shower today. I'll have you know, Cryo. Sus, free is sus. Free is sus, but I'll take free. Jesse might be the guy that stinks. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So what do you think your main problem in love is? Um, nobody appreciates me. I'm cursed. I'm ugly. I've been busy. Um, well, obviously chat. It's not number three. Freaking definitely not. Mm -mm. Nobody appreciates me. Chat appreciates me. Sometimes, right? Does chat, chat, do you appreciate me? Oh, you take one shower all week? Crazy? Wow. Well, that means I'm not smelly now. Wait, did you play with those knockers during the shower too? I mean... Would you not? <laughs> Go with you, girl. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I see coin notes. Alright. Uh... We do? Thanks, Tart. Yeah, I think I'm cursed. Possible, but then it can't hurt to build up some courage. Curses take bravery to break, I imagine, so let's make you brave. The first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh huh. You know, that's good advice, that's good advice. So let's get you some of that confidence. Whoa, whoa, I'm already confident. I'm confident, cow. There's a new, fi a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You have to have an open mind, though. You ready? It's. Dungeons. Uh, I mean, wouldn't you, to be honest? To be frank, if I had fat knockers, I would play in the shower too. I can't blame him. Yeah, see, Cryo understands me. Uh, not sex dungeons. Oh. Yeah, the clarification was necessary. So I guess there are some parallels. Whoa! Uh, never mind, don't think about that. So... That confirms Jesse has been to a sex dungeon himself, right? That's like, he just outed himself on that. 
hella sus. You know dungeons from like video games or D&D like that, but in real life. There's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus, wait, uh, hey, I wanted to ask, can you turn into a weapon? Uh, uh, where is the no question mark? Maybe can yeah. you? Nope. Or maybe you can. Give it a go. You squeeze your eyes shut and imagine turning into a sword, long and sharp. You, op you open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Can't hold you. Aw, don't look so sad, cuz. You, can you can't do it, right? Me neither. Cuz it doesn't run in the family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Around here, people like you, are like us, are called wielders. At least around the weapon, folks. You'll do great. So, if I am the wielder, and like the people that transform turn into swords and I wield them, that makes me the top, right? And they're the bottom, because I'm the one obviously in control here. So clearly that makes me the dummy mommy. Reincarnate as a sword? Yeah, basically. Especially if you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine, I arrange one for, for this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump heavily. Eating someone? Already? My social anxiety, anxiety is through the roof! I don't go outside and meet people! I'm a Twitch streamer! Moo! Hey Dr. Fool, how's it going? No, absolutely not. No, you're the bottom? No, chat! I'm the dummy mommy. Jesus' eyes widen and he shakes his head. Uh, <laughs> Stop, take a deep breath. It's not a date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? The important thing is that you're stronger together. So whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. Uh, why the mall? Dungeons are apparently about facing your fears. I don't really know. Ask Isaac. He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Always check your text messages. Uh, just to go to leave, then pauses. Ah, I forgot to give you a little tour of the apartment, but this is sort of all there is. All yours. I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and desks, but we can talk about that after you settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you want to try some new looks. No pressure. See ya. Jesse leaves. I love the moose. I'm glad chat loves the moose. Chat! I forgot to point out, I'm actually a cow now. Before it was a bull, technically. Because cause cows are only female, and, and, and I am male. But, today, I'm actually a cow. Udders confirmed? I mean, you see these mommy milkers right here, don't you? Uh, mirror. Okay. <gasps> can you use my hat? I can use my clothes? Ow. All right, well, we're just going to do a little trading session to be casual. Chat, casual. Um, a turban? Money's pulled from further away. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I rap. Not ugly, just shy. Uh, looking good. How did this? Okay. I'd rather have no hat. Designs? Oh. Stay safe. Hey, Jesse, now you have my number. Don't forget to meet uh, Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw on the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. Inventory. Dragons galore Zine. Is it like Dragon Ball Z? Free milk for life. Yeah, something like that. All right. I found them all. The fuck, you're huge. 
Uh, something tells me that's not my actual size. I'm not as large as ordinary woman. Ooh, a sword. You find the long, thin blade of the hilt that fits nicely into your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Uh, nice to meet you, Isaac. Enchanté. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. But I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. <clears throat> he did say you were tall. True. I'm Coco, it's 5'2". That sounds about right. What a great height to be. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. True. What is this game? It's a dungeon crawler slash visual novel slash dating sim. Or you date your swords. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dungeon is a place you can confront your insecurities. <clears throat> Shorter than you, only by an inch. Sounds like Glee from The Walking Dead. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. Kinda does. I haven't heard his voice in a while, though. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of something. No Let's fear. go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters <clears throat> to fight. So now Wussy is officially the top. The only time she could top me is when she's taller than me. So, which means, like, never. I'm fine with 11, tend to be taller than people, so I find hearing people's heights funny. It's funny because most of my friends are like 6 feet or over, and I am... I'm 69 inches tall, which is not 6 feet. And, um... Uh, I'm always the short one. I already missed it. What the frick? Who is texting me? Oh, mom. Oh, god. <sighs> mom. Always listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pickpockets. Are you okay? Did you find the apartment? I'm fine, Mom. Oh, good. Stay in your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. Be good. Can I respond with I always am? 69. Nice. Yeah, I'm 5'9. Your model is shorter than me? Well, oh, I mean, all I have to do is wear high heels. We're good. Mom is toil in my head, Cannon. Hmm? Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. Uh, thanks. You're very welcome. Now, let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the dungeon as a wielder, I fought a lot of trucks. Trucks? Yo, was this guy isekai here? Yes. Trucks. Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks. And yet, they manifested. Probably killed by Trunkoon in another life. They were monsters. Pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues around masculinity in my boyhood. Probably from my father. Eventually I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. It felt good. My point is that your phone monster can mean a few things. Maybe you fear connections to other people and intimacy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you fear helplessness, crawling like a worm the way it did. We'll figure it out the deeper we explore it into the dungeon. Uh, what if we die? We'll just go as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We'll still get to keep any treasure we find. Mm -hmm. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keep your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time and use them when you need them. One last observation. You can use the power of Zines in combat. Press the Zine button to use your Dragon Zine and breathe fire. Maybe later you can find a new Zine or even make your own. Be sure to not always rely on them though, as their use is right. limited. So be brave, and let's fight as best we can. Together, we can overcome anything. 
going as deep as you can. Oh. <laughs> Raccoon quit reading my mind. That just shows that we're both weebs, Yggdrasil. Yo, we're at Dark Souls! Let's go! Okay, so... Up. Oh, that could have gone much worse. Thanks? I think? Worst of invoice toy to go with the model? What do you mean by toy? You found wire. Strong but flexible, like I want to be. Yo, I already am strong and flexible. It's a sword. How did it get here? The hilt is cool, almost cold to touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Oh shit, our first boyfriend! <laughs> of course he's got the rose. Yo, put on oh. a shirt! Well, hello you two. Name's Sunder. What a fucking Chad. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no. What a man. Not sure is optional. Toy, oh well. All right, chat, who is a fan of, uh, I already forgot his name. What was it, Sunder? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Yo, you think the Throngler's in this game? Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. Sure, Coco. Chat, you prefer jacket on or jacket off? Don't put on a shirt, ignore Coco. Well, I guess it's fitting that I now took off my jacket. But my luck is turning around because here you are. Oh wow, look at the blushy. All right, never mind. I'm wearing my hoodie again. <laughs> you prefer both off? All right, we see now that that deserves a spray. <laughs> I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dunge. Uh, who, me? Yeah, you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. This guy's already trying to slide into my panties, what the hell? There were other options. Oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Um... Listen, man, we just met. Do we do we go in for the shore or like we go we go do we play Sundere chat? Do we play Sundere? We can't be too desperate, right? We we gotta be like, oh, yeah, you know, well, I'll think about it, you know. Or be like, you know, be pure yandere. <laughs> yeah. I would ask if he's more sword or man. Hmm. Is Fem Coco Cinderella? She likes Midna, so probably. <laughs> Again! Midna's not a Cinderella. Uh, let's go with this one then. Are you more sword or man? I'm both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with Bonnie binaries. Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. This kind of sounds like. Pro ZD. And now I kind of want to look up if it's Sun One. That's his name. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in. No matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. 
Who made this game? I actually don't know. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Um. Okay. I like him less. Plenty of people are jealous of this physique, so could be anyone, really. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. I'll text you. Damage blade saunters away, seeming almost to dance. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here? Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. I made quite a career out of voice acting, I can hear him now. Son one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that was Let's him. keep our eye Curious. out for any other victims as we explore the dungeon. Oh god! Oh, I can heal whatever. Oh! Is this my fault? Oh, uh, what the fuck was that? Holy shit. Well, that could have gotten better. Oof. Feel the paradigmics gently bring you to the surface and back to consciousness. Oh no! I'm not insured! You're bone tired but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Sure, sorry. Let go. Do I have to? I'm afraid so. Until our next lesson, anyhow. I like Isaac. He seems pretty chill. He seems pretty cool. We're gonna transform. Oh shit, we can see how he looks like. Yo, nice suit. Oh, he reads? Oh, what a fucking loser. <laughs> Kidding. Yo, nice suit, dude. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. Excuse me, I read. I stand by what I said. <laughs> if I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. Ow. No, thank you, but nice suit. Isaac summoned wine. You think like you think he was drinking wine before before he got turned into a sword? And then, like, he turned back and he still had the wine? Or is it just every time he's, he returns to, to human form, he has wine? If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time, then. Isaac actually being an alcoholic keeps one <laughs> at all times. The small battle he strides away. Dear Coco, I'm available for lessons. Did you make it to the dungeon? Whoa, 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 I'm getting so many texts! You can tell this is fiction because I never get this many messages. Reported soldier. Alright, alright, Jesse, calm down. <laughs> you didn't tell me he was hot! Uh, mission complete, sir. DMs blowing up. Yeah, the second I'm female, Cal, now everyone's signing into my DMs, right? So, how'd it go? Wait, don't answer that. I'll, let's talk in person. Uh, okay. Thumbs up. I'll be right over. Oh, shit. That was fast. Hey, cuz. I heard you, uh, picked up Isaac. 
and he says you're a natural. Um, yeah, he's a good teacher. He's one of the best dudes I know for sure. Thinks a lot about how to improve the world. Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I'll trust you work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal alone with a handsome stranger. <laughs> People want that cocoa milk. Ew, ew. In case, you know, you might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. I'm not nervous. Do you open your mouth to speak? The tongue feels dry as a desert. You fall silent. Hey, I'm not nervous. Ah. Nervous are that bad, huh? At least you gain a bit of confidence. I am confident. Mm. I'm confident, cow. I'm confident. Hmm. Can I volunteer and need milk for strong bones? You keep watching my stream, salt. So you get all the milk you want. To jar man, my name fake. Jesse doesn't know me. He doesn't know me. Well, lucky you. I went to high school with a guy that runs a sword shop, and he's single. At least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac. But I got his number. As he pokes his phone. Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. It's your for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh do I have to? How did Coco was low key cute? Do I look cute to you? Ow. How about that, Coco? <gasps> headpats! Imaginary headpats! Oh, ooh, okay, so here. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. I should be able to do head pads. Um, let's see. I want to, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. And then let's add command to existing. Go with head pads. And then we're gonna import head pads. Then change this one. Uh -huh. Head pets. Okay. And then that's fine. I don't need to change that. Is this it? Head pets. Head pets. Why is happy so much later? I think I did this backwards. Hold on, chat. Oh god, I just oh, moo 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 moo. Hi, chief. Hold on a second. Sorry, doing something. Oh, here we go. Save. Play. That didn't work. Wait, where's my... Hold on, hold on, hold on chat. This is, this is being dumb. Where's my head pet? Now it's not showing up at all. This one. Oh, it's... Call pet, not pat. Oh, 
Oh, that's the problem. Okay, so let's. Yes. Sorry, chat. If this doesn't work, we'll go back to the game. Okay, pets. Okay, that seems to have worked. Okay. Uh, hold on. Before before you redeem it, don't redeem it yet. Hold on. Um, let me make sure I didn't. Let me make sure uh, it works fine still on male Coco. Okay, we're still good. We're good. Okay, we're good. I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally break male Coco when doing that because of the way that worked. Okay, we're good. All right. You can now head pet me as much as you want. Coco looks so sad it gives all kicked puppy energy. <laughs> There we go. Okay, back to the game. Maybe that's a practice date. It's fine if it doesn't work out. No pressure. There you go, right? I guess so. Uh huh. That's the spirit. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. He'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Like what dungeons? Get to know him. This summer won't last forever, and you gotta meet new people sometime. So let's roleplay. Whoa, I am not about that roleplay. Freaking out with my cousin anyways, Jesus. Um, I'll be Eric, no pressure, just try it out. <laughs> okay, you've just entered the cafe. Why did he get hearts? I guess he's he likes that I'm said okay? I don't know. And make sure to show them boobs. Wow, Lucy, wow. Is this not enough boobs for you? Should I take off my jacket again? Is this more boobs so you can see it clearly? Yo, got two gold ditties. Listen, my philosophy is is not not flat as justice or like the bigger the better. It's medium is premium. And uh, uh, as long as the boobs aren't bigger than the head, then it's not too big. When the boobs are bigger than the head, that's when I'm like, okay, that's a little too big. There is a limit to the bigger is better, despite what Woosie says. Take the shirt off. Wow, Woosie. Jesus, please. Why are you so lewd? Medium is premium beef, right? Hi, Duke. How's it going? Okay, you just entered the cafe. I'm Eric, and I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Uh, hi. I'm trying to say hi, but your breath catches you in your throat, and you start coughing. Hmm. Dude, how much social anxiety does my character have? Jesus. Hmm, maybe try in a mirror tonight. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll do fine. Practice makes perfect. See ya. Oh, wait, can I... Can I not answer the phone? Can I only answer one person at a time on my phone? I would have rather talked to my, my trainer. Going good. Interesting time to join. I think any time of this stream today would have been a good time to join. <laughs> Would have been very interesting. Me characters, your character shy to all the guys so far. I just don't know that you haven't found your type. I don't know that my type is uh is female. Uh, browse the internet. Catch up on the news. It looks like everyone's angry about something. Get bored and do a little social media research on Eric. You don't see much about his personal life, but you find his weapon shop. Looks like his shop is called Naked Steel. Oh. Oh my. 
It has two ratings. One rating reads, the owner is a real expert. Good prices and service. Five stars. Another rating reads, Naked Steel, not a porn store. No porn at all. Anyway, Stan Blade Generation, one star. This is this is the this is the viewer. Sus go in there. <laughs> Boosie, that's the plan. Eventually you lock off and go to bed, feeling more prepared. Wake up paralyzed with deep and inexpressible fear. Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. But if I'm not even sure what you're afraid of, but I feel like you can't breathe. Oh, uh, count to ten. That's healthy. You slowly count, focusing your thoughts. One, two, three. Eventually, you feel a bit better. You get up and walk down to the coffee Welcome shop. Welcome to Kicks. Oh, hi. Hmm. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. Look around and see someone waving at you. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Whoa! Nice classes, dweeb. Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? Uh. Um. Can can I go with like the dual wielding type? I'm more of like a dual wielding type. Can I? Ow! <laughs> Why the plush? Let's go home with dweeb. I'm kidding, chat. I wear glasses, by the way. So, I'm kidding. Ooh, maybe I should make my model wear glasses at some point. Eric is my face so far and definitely is Woosie's. Yeah, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, all right. Uh, kind of twink-like, got blonde hair, definitely Woosie's. I wear glasses and calls me names. No, he don't. That's not true, Lucy. I don't make fun of you. I make fun of your glasses. <laughs> Totally, two totally different things. Two totally different things. Even one of you have glasses on your model, Immersion Ruin. To be fair, I only wear glasses, uh, I, I'm nearsighted, so I don't need it to see on the computer. I just need it when I'm driving or at the movies or something. Uh, so, uh, First of all, I'm not sure what to answer, one-handed or two-handed. I think I'm more of a fan of, of like the, the dual wielding. I mean, so I guess one-handed. Uh, second of all, my favorite is still the the trainer guy, whose name already I forgot. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. He waggles his eyebrows playfully. Oh, he did the- oh, he didn't do- he didn't quite do the anime thing. You know the anime thing where you put the hand on your- on your glasses, like on the nose part, and you kind of like put it up? You know, the anime thing? Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. I already found one. A weapon person? Can you become a weapon? Yeah, I'm curious. Can you become a weapon? Nah, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. But my shop sells only pure steel. Some imported, some made on site. Wait, so you sell actual swords? Maybe I can give a discount to a fellow enthusiast who to give my blades a good home. Oh, should I talk like a nerd? Maybe I can give a discount to a fellow enthusiast who give my blades a good home. Hmm. You seem like the kind of woman who appreciates fine craftsmanship. <laughs> That's Eric. <laughs> Ow! Stop! No fair! <laughs> I stand by what I said. <laughs> no, he's not that nerdy. He's not that nerdy. I'm also new sighted, but it's blade enough to where I need my glasses constantly. Oh, it's bad enough that you need it uh, constantly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Thankfully, I'm glad my eyesight's not that bad. So, you're a smith? Exactly. I guess you like that answer. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal, and with finesse and strength, I'll turn them into art. Well, I try anyways. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know? 
Uh, very true. As someone who uh, recently, you know, got into the live 2D stuff and making my own model can confirm. Video tutorials aren't everything. Now you make Eric sound like someone who makes tier lists for many things. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I don't sound like Donald Trump or, or Biden or Obama. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftswoman. Maybe you can do something with these. Modern miracle. I found plastic. Listen, I can get plastic anywhere. Recipes, there's crafting in this game? Ugh. I think you can make something out of this stuff. Anyway, I should get back, I should be getting back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need more frivoly in my life. Whoa, whoa, this guy's already in it. Uh, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon. Anyway, ciao. Pat edibility, edibility tier list. What the hell? Uh, he runs a YouTube channel who does nothing but tier list with no real theme. Oh, I see. Okay, uh... Uh, so it's apparently since I can only talk to one person at a time. I'm gonna talk to Isaac next time. I kind of don't like Jesse. Seems a little too needy if you ask me. Isaac is cool. He's really chill. Uh, sure. I made bracelets. Wait for a gift opportunity to give it to someone special. Oh. Okay, we're gonna talk to Isaac. Isaac is my favorite so far. Dear Coco, I'm available for lessons. I'll provide equipment at my office. Brooks Associates, if you wish. Sincerely, Isaac. Uh, it's not a letter. <laughs> uh, sure, let's train. Looking forward to it. So can I do like anything else? How'd it go? <laughs> Poop emoji or heart emoji? Can I go with the middle? Like it was all right, it went fine. All right, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, can I go to the game? house so can I Brooks associates well how do I go there can I go there can I only go to the to the mall right now <gasps> I go to the pet store chat I've seen the trailer for this game there is a cat I, w I can't wait to see the cat. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's considered a date. Yeah, sure, why not? Get a cow, adopt a cow. Yo, if that's the option, I might have to go for it. You stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with the books? Uh, yes. Well, hello. Coco, you made it. Christine, Coco's always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you could, would take me up on my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer a foil, sabre, or a pay? Um, uh, 
I don't know what an EPP is. Uh, can I wield you? Mm -mm. I can't teach while wielded. For now, take up the foil. Will you be quick enough? We shall see. Now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on his fancy his fencing gear with practiced ease. Now stand up straight with your blade out towards my heart. Whoa. So do you think I saw him change or 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 what? Do you think? Huh. Yeah, did you see him get naked? I assume he put the suit over, but you know, we didn't see that. Definitely change it for me. What a power move, yeah. Turn to regard me from the side, over your shoulder, and a hip. This is an on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. We will begin with the basic movement. Look into my eyes, advance towards me, front foot, then back foot. Um. Okay, uh, step mm. forward. Hmm, try lifting your toes first. Don't cross the legs. Now, in foil, you can only score by hitting the torso. And saber the upper body. But in the dungeons, you don't need to score points with any judges. I suppose that means we should use epepe rules. PP rules. Any hit counts. Let's try lunge attack then. Extend your front leg with all your weight. Keep your front foot flat. No bent ankle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little bit awkward. <laughs> Not bad, you have talent. Ooh, we can get up to rank six. Or pass, holding roll as you counterattack. It's, ooh, we got a counter move? Oh, it looks like we've reached a new level of understanding. So now you can parry with me. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friend's only maneuver. Pair in the dungeon, hold dodge just before the enemy attacks hits. Okay. This is for you guys, so don't forget! You can also check out parry in the combo details on your phone later. But for now, should we take a break? He loosens his gloves and removes his fencing jacket. Oh no, he's dressing in front of me again! Oh my. Please, Isaac, we're only friends! <laughs> You, should, you, could, you also did you also didn't finish getting clothed you're still your buttons are still undone at the top I, 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 Isaac if you'd like to keep training with me perhaps you should get to know each other better um uh should we get dinner mm -mm. sorry but I have an appointment this evening soon actually thanks for asking though. What about you? You're a dashing dunge hero now, right? Mm -hmm. What do your parents think about your dangerous profession? Do they approve? Uh, my mom always supports me, yes. I'm glad she respects your choices. He needs hand eye contact the whole time he changed. Whoa, more hearts. It's heartening to know that such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? Whoa, he's into MILFs. Okay, well, never mind. Hmm. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? I said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. Is that his dad, I assume? So you're just gonna keep a guest waiting while you faff about? Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in my life of my only child. Wow, you call your dad by your first name? That is awkward. Um, I, In this situation, I'd be kind of awkward and not say anything. Uh, but sure, nice to meet you, Mr. Brooks. I'm sure meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. Okay, how about fuck you and I'll spit on your shoes instead. I'm terribly sorry, Coco. It seems I'm occupied. Let's ask you to set up our appointment. You're texting now? What's next in your slumming schedule? Will you drink water from plastic bottles, too? Horrifying. Are there any deaths you won't stoop to? Uh, eavesdrop! You hear Vincent yell about having low standards and making disgraceful choices. Isaac responds too quietly for you to hear. 
You head home. Damn, dude! Yeah, he is pretty, he's pretty bad. Oh, it's my mom. She's so supportive. Honey, I know you're always afraid of change. I'm glad you're facing- Whoa, I didn't finish reading. And I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you. But Jesse says you're fighting monsters? Big cow. Big cow for big booba. I hope you'd pick a less dangerous career, like cobra wrestling or wreck driving. I have- uh, Do I have healthcare? Oh shit. Uh, I'll be careful, mom. Big is booba. Why do so many dads in games uh, are assholes? I don't know. And I, and I don't, my character doesn't even have a dad in this game. Uh, it seems like a lot of people out there have daddy issues. And I guess I'm very thankful that that's, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Ow. Good, that's my girl. If something happens to you, I don't know what I'd do. Of course, I support you no matter what, but be safe. I will. I didn't get to see the giggle. Wait, what giggle? Cow milkers. <laughs> milkers. You know, I could have gone bigger. I am a cow. You think I should have gone like, I should have made my boobs as big as the boobs of the cow girls from Interspecies Reviewers? Those are some mommy milkers, chat. I mean, jiggle? What jiggle are these? Sorry, we were interrupted, but do you care for business talk? Uh, I love it. Yeah, sure. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited then. I'm not a fan myself. Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. Yeah, whatever. When I hit you, it didn't jiggle. Oh yeah! Did it th throw another plushie. Did it not work? I think it broke. Tits better make the tits jiggle. Well, it was working fine before. That's weird. Well, I don't know why it looks like that, but at least I know it works. Was there an update? You gotta love scuff. Yeah. Okay, so now I know how to make the arms work, and or I know how to make head pets work, so I should be able to make, like, my drinking cup work. I didn't try to figure out how to do that, but I can do that now. Uh, <sighs> I'm hydrating now.
Yo, water is delicious, chat. I guess we only have the one sword, so... <laughs> Let's see what your psychology looks like today. You're delicious? No, you're delicious. Ow. Am I gonna be fighting men? I take so much damage. Oh my god, I take so much damage, and I do so little damage. Well then. Oof, oof indeed. So, I think I have to talk to Jesse if I want to, like, progress the story, but I don't really want to. Your kids will have death from medical pills. <sighs> eh, whatever. They venture soon. Um, what about Eric? No, no, variety is the spice of everything. So I'm gonna find you someone nice. Chill and dunge for now. Where is your crafting table left in the apartment? You can craft, yeah, I know. Okay, whatever. Uh,. You like dancing? Yeah, do you, Eric? Oh my god, of course. Um... Sure. Sure. I'll be there. Okay, cool, me too. Okay. Hmm? Name? I'm with Sunder. Yeah, that's damn straight. Whoa, who's this girl? Sunder is venting to a woman sitting next to him in the VIP mm -hmm. area. But I just can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Ow. Join the club. And without love, what's the point? Hey, Coco, could you believe in soulmates? Chad, do you believe in soulmates? Honest opinion. I haven't really thought about that in a way. Big cow again. Are you gonna smack me with... Yes, you are. Okay. Kinda? I don't know. Um, I want to. Cylinder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. Uh huh. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed. I'm not sure anymore. That was fast. Make it look so easy in the movies. Ugh. Romance has been dead at least 500 years. Yeah, so Coco, this is Mandy. She's my business partner. Come to the club. Charmed, I'm sure. And what kind of sword do you turn into again? Ugh. Nah, she's a wielder. 
I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? What'd you say? Nah. No, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling heals from my abduction and dawn chanting. What about you? Uh... I googled the cow people from Interspeed Reviewers. I'm glad you didn't do that. <laughs> what took you so long, Idrisil? I mentioned it like, like 10 minutes ago. Are you sure you weren't just staring at them for this whole time? <laughs> reviews goes a little too far with cowgirls. I mean, I agree. I agree. The cat girls, though? Yeah, of course you would say that final. Even their boobs are massive, though. Yeah, sure, let's dance. Yes, tonight we dance like we're gonna die in 50 years. <laughs> what? We are. Whatever. Baka. Anna kisses the bounce from the cheek and she leads you and something to the dance floor. Cinder almost sways, mostly sways and sips his drink, but Mandy dances with abandon. So you can feel the music thumping in your chest. Uh, we'll play it cool, we'll play it cool. You bow your head to the rhythm. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Whoa, I thought this was boyfriend dungeon, not girlfriend dungeon. Cinder smiles and leads the dance forward in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leans in. Her breath warms your ear. You should really be careful, little one. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He sounds nice, but he's double-edged. Well, small cow. I'm super small because uh, normal cow is a, lot, a little bigger. Tiny cow. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. Oh, I get it, like a double-edged sword. <laughs> I like the small redeem because you can enjoy my full model in all of its glory. Nice that you're looking for soulmates, so believe me, Sunder isn't. He lies and he's dangerous. Sunder is using you. Part of it's his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. I know, I like the thighs. Yo, me too. Big thigh fan. Then why are you his friend? I'd rather be with you. Are you talking about drugs? Violent. You know, then why are you his friend? Uh... I can be friends with assholes. I just don't think them. But well, I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help. Be careful. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. And kisses you on the cheek and leaves. Oh my. Yo, we're already getting to first base with her. We just met her. Let's go. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way towards you. Man, you left, huh? It's just us two now. Let's enjoy this moment while we can. Uh, I, I prefer your human form. I actually prefer prefer his sword, you know, mode more. Um, you know what? I'm leaving too. <laughs> All right, but you know, you don't need any beauty sleep, beautiful. Hold on, let me say goodbye in human form. I want to look into your eyes. Let's go to the dungeon again sometime, yeah. See you later, I hope. Dick thighs save lives. Exactly, exactly. Hey, it's Eric. Um, oh my god, I have so many messages. Well, that's the same. Oh, hi, mom. Just as one on a date. The better is free to you well. You only deserve the best, you know. Uh, mom, stop! Sorry, sorry, I'll let you do your thing. But if they hurt you, tell me. Mama would take care of it! Knives emoji! Yo, my mom is pog. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
I love this mom. Yo, can I date mom? She's the best character in this game so far. <laughs> Stop. Wait, hold up. <laughs> you go Toriel? Well, Vital put this mental image of her being Toriel in my head, and that's not a good one for me. Or I should say that's too good of a mental image for me. Hey, cutie. Sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but this is how I am. You're a good dancer. Uh, can I back off a little? Um... Can I just, like, leave it on red? <laughs> hey, Rose. I'm glad Jesse introduced us. Uh, me too. She come by naked steel sometime. Our scimitars have centillion curves. Special price for a special lady. What do you say? Uh, yeah, I'll see you there. This guy's a little more flirty than I thought he would be. Been waiting and hoping. Prayer emoji. Whoa, what's going on here? Isaac and Thunder seem to be arguing over something. Ugh. I know you're trying to help, and I appreciate that, but then you have to believe me. I don't mean to doubt you. It's just that a 2% interest rate is unheard of. You're sure you read the paperwork correctly? Do you have a copy? Uh, I got the loan a long time ago from my family. Well, that makes slightly more sense. Love money can be very forgiving. Just answer the question. Should I pay it back as soon as possible or not? Normally, I'd say yes. I've been burned many times by mixing family and finance. But it depends on your savings. What's your club's burn rate and runway? No open flames allowed in here. No fashion shows either. Zero, I guess. <sighs> Let's try it one more time. How much do you spend every month? Now there is a tough one. It depends how much I spend on gifts and special occasions. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Coco? Should I buy you something nice this month? Um, no thanks? Ouch! Oh, suit yourself. I guess I can save a little money this month. Uh. I'm late for my next appointment, I'm afraid. If you'd like to continue this, perhaps next time bring a few bank statements and pay stubs. Nah. Stubs? I prefer to pay their people their whole paycheck, thank you. Yes. Of course. I'll prepare my advice accordingly. Good luck with your business, Thunder. It was lovely to see you, Coco. See ya. Yeah, next time, bottle service on me for both of you. Oh wow, those are those are boobas. Pretty good outline. Oh, thanks, thanks. I grew them myself. Um, this is new. You know, these boobs came out way better than I was expecting, I'm gonna be honest. Both in a drawing and a rigging sense. I'm pretty proud of my boobas. Welcome. Uh, yo, I broke. Keep on checking yourself out, huh? Yeah. Are you not? Doing a good job, thanks, Koi. Now you need to ring my boobs. I need jiggle. Thankfully, it's easy to do. It took me like an hour. And since I've done it once, I could do it again probably just as easily. Melons. The shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register, reading a book. Oh, you came. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. 
Um, yo, nice shop. Thanks. We just restocked our spadroon supply. How long have I been streaming, chat? It's been two hours. Okay, I'm just out of curiosity. Let me give you a tour. I'd fuck Eric for real. Cryo, you and a good chunk of chat as well. I'll be honest, I haven't seen I haven't seen the boyfriend for me yet. You know? We're on the beach, knuckleheads. Mostly want switch blades and razors, but we carry the finest blades. Some even made on site in my private smithery. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? What's a Talwar? I know what an S stock is. What's it? I'm gonna look this up. Talwar. Oh, it's a curved sword. Uh, between the two, I'd probably choose Talwar. Hmm. Interesting. Most people know of the scimitar, but into rarities. Hmm? Big, big rarity fan. Big rarity fan. Ah. He's got the Milo from Atlantis Energy. Yo, I also thought the exact same thing. His hair is blonde instead of like that dirty blonde, but you know, I honestly thought the similar thing. He doesn't have the same yaoi hands that Milo does. Wait, you mean a weapon person, right? Of course. It's naturally fascinating when we're holding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would transform to if it were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, Coco, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say impure humans are superior, but the truth is we're better suited to leadership. Um, that sounds a little bit racist, Steve, if you ask me, Eric. Um. Huh. Uh, that's that's a funny that's a funny auto mod. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, pure. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the opposite of hybrid is. Mm -hmm. I have a little project I think you'd be interested in. I'm forging a new and improved kind of weapon. Way smarter than that idiot towel wear you like so much. Hmm. I don't know what to call the Supreme Sword yet. Uh. You can forge people? No, 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 no. Not people. That'd be like giving birth or something gross. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. Think of it, the ultimate weapon, with all the tactical insights and none of the drama. Uh... Yeah, it's blocking a blocked white fucker, because I think it considered it being racist. That didn't sound racist to me, but... I don't know, I'm not white, so I guess I wouldn't know. <laughs> you want it to be mindless? Ow! My neck! Control freak much? You want it to be mindless? Yeah, I'm not liking Eric. He's giving me some weird vibes. Ideally, no. Ideally, it would want to be my perfect tool, but in practice, yes. Perfect servant will always be more loyal than equal. The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Hmm. Um. Catch on the sharp side, cutie. Whoa, we called me cutie.
I bear if Aries is a waxen knife boy. <laughs> Um, not really to each their own. Exactly. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. Can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? Uh, no. This guy's weird. Didn't know this was the direction the stream chat would go. And then again, considering the name of the game, it makes sense. Um, yeah, it makes sense to me. Let's go dungeoning and get my ass kicked again. Oh, he's the tall war? Oh. I still think you should fuck him? I'm not... I'm not into this that. This time I'll work on my accuracy. Not... I'm not into that. Not into that human supremacy bullshit. First question were eh, seconds were oof, yeah, yeah, he seems like the kind of guy I want to stay away from. Same with, same with Sunj, he seems like someone I probably shouldn't be with. Uh, this guy has daddy issues, none of these options are looking great, I'm gonna be honest. Technology symbolizes change, I believe. You found glass, the evolved form of sand. Eric, the kind of guy to stalk you to the point of a pre-game warning being necessary. I don't think Eric seems like the stalker type. I feel like Sunge is more of the stalker type. I do wonder who that stalker character is going to be, though. Ooh, a new sword. Here we go, chat. A little dagger. A little baby dagger. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather and double-edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like... Grab me without warning? Yo, do we got Rainbow Dash up in here? I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. Whoa, freaking. Alright, I didn't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap. I just am not sure what's going on. Yeah, I don't actually think it's Eric. It's also probably not encountered in every playthrough. True, true. Maybe you have to reach a certain amount of, like, love level. I was out at night, as you do, and then, bam, I'm here, my blade hurts, monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. Uh, you were abducted? I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from... Whatever just happened, I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Um... Uh, fair enough, I guess. I can take care of myself. 
mostly. I could use some extra cash, though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now. Okay, she just wants my money. Cool. <laughs> Women, am I right? That sounds like she could use a <laughs> nap. Yeah, for real, for real. Yo, I hope that women line is in uh, Resident Evil 4, the new one. I can make a hat! Let's go! It's actually a tall glass of water, more like a small glass of water. Ah, uh, ice skating. I haven't done this in years. Mm -hmm. Isaac says he's up his skates and he starts gliding on the ice. He holds out his hand. Uh, hold his hand so lewd! Chat, this game, this game is so lewd. He smiles and skates just a bit faster, gently pulling you along. When I was 10 or so, my father took my family up to Canada for a winter. So we'd know what real cold was like. Hmm. I mostly hated it, but there was this big frozen lake the kids all skated on. It felt so freeing to be alone out on the ice with just your thoughts. <laughs> or with a friend I could trust. Maybe that's why I enjoy going to the dungeon with you. I'm like a frozen lake? Uh. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, I have put my foot in it again. I just meant that I appreciate our time together. That's all. Uh, no. I gotta save my gift for someone special. I only have the one gift right now, so... Up! Fireball should really do a little more damage. I wasn't sure if we make it through that one. Yo, freaking me neither, Isaac. Yeah, holding that bracelet for a while, don't give it a dodge to anybody, right? Yo, might as well max out the other one, right? Oh, I like the range of this more. I like the wider swing than the stabs. Get to join me. Whoa! I'd like to surprise more pairs. All the practice of the mission. Get to join me. Okay, I'm down. Sorry, I'd be arena foods badly. Didn't you have dinner? I guess that was a while ago. All right, we'll see. I hope you enjoy your food. I like the red too. Yeah, big fan. Big fan.
An amusement time? Hey, is this is the dagger you met? Hey, this is that dagger you met? Question mark? Name is Valeria. Wanna meet up some time? Yeah, sure. I do like the little dialogue that happens in between like fights. Uh, I am not okay, I'm gonna be honest. Achievement. It's called a wrecking ball. Ah! You get him next. Well, that's unfortunate. I killed a lot of goons. <gasps> Oof! Level three, let's go! Level four, let's go! This, like, loading screen, not a fan. I think I'm going to the park, you free? Uh, sounds good. Be by the pond, winky face. Mom, Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dungeon, so it's kind of like therapy, but with swords? Yeah, basically. Well, that's good. It sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any permanent damage. Therapy is important, especially when you're, when you're feeling on edge, winky face. But help me grow and level up as a person. Oh, wait. But I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. Help me grow and level up as a person. 12 years? Yeah, are you okay? Ah, uh, yeah, it's totally normal, kiddo. No worries. Is going to therapy for 12 years normal? C serious question, actually. Where's Pavlov? Ray suggests he has a cousin like you. He's, he's a loser or was in high school. No offense. Whoa, 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 that's mean. You know what? You're the loser. No offense. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Just no. All right, Eric is losing more and more points. And that's kind of impressive. <laughs> Uh, we'll meet this girl. I assume girl. Could be wrong. Oh, I think you hit the head fast, Lucy. You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a metallic gleam on a bench nearby. Do not pick up the dagger. Hello? Oh, here we go! Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, she's a painter. All right. All right, chat. That's that's a nut. We I don't have a nut button. I need to have a nut button. Chat. That's a nut. Oh, that's better. Huh. She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Hey, wow. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dungeon. You're cute. No. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lucy. You too. Oh, well, to tell the truth, I got a little dressed up. Thanks. 
By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. In an ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first. Just in case you're an axe murderer. Huh. But you know, that's fair. Uh, hey, that's funny! That's what Bree said about me! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lucy, I'm not an axe murderer, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> that was her phrase, axe murderer. If not, I hope not. Oh, yeah, it turns out I actually am. I'm playing the super long game. So I suppose you're more likely to just turn out to be an axe. Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypothetical given my own. Brings closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation. Wait. What? Wait. 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 What does that imply? So what is it? You know your deal. You can tell me. I won't judge you. <laughs> I just prefer to know up front before anything happens. Uh, I'm not sure what my deal is. Well, I haven't heard that one before, at least. Hmm. Maybe it'll be fun to find out with what it is, together. Yeah, I really, really wish I could wink right now, but I, my model can't do that. Man, of course, I'm eyeing you suspiciously. Uh, can we help you? Hey. Everything alright, V? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. The man sues you down a moment longer before moving on. Okay, who is this hobo man? Um. Can you roll one wink? No. Like, it can't because of the tracking settings I, I have. If I use the tracking settings that allows me to wink, it will sometimes wink, like, on accident. Like, it'll just, like, I'm not, I'll be just having my eyes open and it'll just wink. Sorry, that's up, friends. Checking in to see I haven't been axe murdered. Yeah, anyway. You know, to be fair, Val, I understand it. I respect it. I respect it. Look, don't take this the <sighs> wrong way. Your story is too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before. Yet you're also charming and apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Uh, nobody's called me charming. Huh? That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is, we barely know each other. Yeah, we literally did just meet. She stands. You know, you have to say something or you'll never see her again. Uh, Get to know me then. You feel a little breathless at your own daring. But Valerie's eyes warm a little. I suppose that is why I came to Rona Beach. You start. New friends. Okay, good. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. And if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? Right. <laughs> C'est la vie? Uh, no. I like her, but not that much. She's a little too paranoid. You decide not to give a gift Ciao. right now. When we home, you find a rose on your doorstep. The note reads, Thinking of you, Eric. Alright, chat. We might have a stalker. <laughs> Next time, a real date. One more, I don't accuse you of being a murderer. Wait, who the girl? No, Eric. Or an axe, though I knew a knife one once. Anyways, I think my blade is mostly healed. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. Eric? Yeah. He left the rose and he said, Thinking of you, winky face. I'll let you know when I think of a date we can go on, winky face. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. 
Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just gonna not respond. That's the spirit, right? I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own, but you're doing great. Facing fears, finding friends, I'm amazed. It makes me proud, my little baby bird, flying on her own. Uh, I wish I had a third option. I don't like any of these options! I was going to say, you know, thanks, Mom. You know. Yeah, Ghost Eric as well. Yeah, I feel like... Everyone's person is looking weird. You know, that's an understatement, Lucy. You see this? You see this shit? He called my cousin Loser. And then I called him a loser, and he goes on and he's all pompous about it. Look at this. Look at this. Thank you, hottie. And I'm like immediately, no. Slap him. You don't miss me? Are you serious right now? Of course. You know you love my life. You know that. Try to say it every way. But this is important. Independence is part of growing up. Be here when you need me. Always you and my daughter. Oh, I'll give her a little heart emoji. I need plastic. Church Sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training. We're gonna go to church and stab each other with swords? Hmm. Hmm, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower, faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprised at the spice of life and fencing. Go on, take a stab at it. Uh, parry quickly. Right. Yeah, just like that. Perfect form. Just lovely. You have a perfect form, too. Oh? What? I'm not even wielding a... Oh, you mean... <laughs> um, well, th thank you. Uh, well, let's resume. <laughs> nice work. You even have me splitting. I'm just getting started. Let's do a new duel, and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking him aside and scoring on you. Rah! <laughs> yes! I, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't frustrate you. I just wanted to see your true level. We learn most when we are challenged, after all. You know, he's not wrong! I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. Can you handle me rather well, I must say? Your boss? Ooh, I choose. Your boss timing is more forgiving, or boss locks enemy back further. More forgiving! Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? My mother raised me in the church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did some things right. She came for the community, mostly, but I took to it more deeply. There's so many mysteries in this life, Coco. Some people suffer, others become swords. Y y yeah, I I guess. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? Oh God, this is uh, this is Isaac. This is only our second date. We don't you, you know, you know, talk about this. Uh, at least we can agree that love is power, not just not just lust, real, generous, patient love. Mm. I like to think that love can connect any of everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or not. There are so many suffering people, I want to help them all. I know you like talking business, and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealthy inequality. Most wealthy people aren't interested. <sighs> 
Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm -hmm. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Uh, yeah, why don't you stand up to him? Uh. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dungeon, even when you're afraid? Uh, I just plunge oh. in. Yeesh. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I, I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. God starts filtering in. Perhaps the service will start oh. soon. Out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. No! Oh. I'm already going on so many dates, Jesse. Yo, I'm a player. Country are they? You've probably met already. <laughs> I like the water emoji. Is she cute? Most important question, obviously. Obviously. Go to Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. Oh, I am down. <laughs> I, I want to go to a place called Paradise Lost. Sounds great. Don't forget to smile. Hmm, but fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the prayer egg. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this to this poor man. I can't do that to him. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking fine chat. So just random stuff? Okay. <laughs> Uh, that poor man will be confused for the rest of his life. Ow! Why are you throwing plushies at me? Throw plushies at chat! I'm going to Paradise Lost right now. Welcome to Paradise Lost. I'm Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? Uh, the friendly kind, the fluffy kind. I like friendly cats. I like the cats that are go meow, meow, meow. They like meow a lot. I like I like the talkative cats. Me too. A cat's friendship is pure and eternal, unless they're hungry, I guess. Oh, is this the girl? Hmm. Are we on a date? Don't you work at Kicks? Yeah, don't you work at Kicks? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought Jesse would tell you. He set us. He set us up. Ah, oh, I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry. One second. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. Her name is Olivia. Yeah. We can just hand a pet cats. I don't really like dates anyways. Mm. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing? It's also fake. Totally understand. What about dating swords? Kissing is fun. I try to be sincere. People like taking stuff, stuff off in front of you. I just have that charm, you know? Um, yeah, kissing is fun. Sure, but not when you're second guessing yourself. We found slightly, eyes focusing in the distance. 
Wait, don't look behind you, but I think someone's watching us in the window. You peek from the corner of your eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm. They're gone. Maybe I'm imagining things. Chat, I'm being stalked already. It's already happening. <laughs> Cat! The only thing Cat walks up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. Huh? I don't recognize this one. Who are you, Kitty? Are you new here? She's so cute. May I pet you, perhaps? Sophie Stalls! Congrats on the 18 months! You got your new badge. It's now diamond. A little bit more blue and a little bit more sparkly than the platinum one. Uh, soon I will be doing... What's the next one? Ah, yes, I remember what the next one's gonna be. Show off. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, 18 months. I've been... Ow. I've, I've been streaming for almost two years now. <sighs> I need to check the date again, but I think my date of my anniversary of streaming is... It's like, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm losing my train of thought. It's the same day I think Zelda comes out. I need to track. That's crazy, I wish I was here the first month. Yeah, it would have been nice. I've been streaming for, yeah, two years. And it's gonna be like May 12th-ish. I, I can't remember the exact day. Yeah, you only have a silver cow. I have reached affiliate though in October. So I was streaming for six months before I finally hit October. Uh, I hit affiliate. Two years well, right? I know. It kind of doesn't feel like it. Blink reaches her hand to the plate, but the cat stalks away again, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. Spends the time with Olivia chatting and pinning cats. This was nice to see you around. Uh, see ya. Um, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. Okay. Back to the cafe with a blush. The cat gives you a pitying look. Your kitty, kitty, kitty. Can't stare at you until you feel uncomfortable. You head home. I wanted to pet the cat. All right, chat. I think they didn't go great, but uh, she seems okay. I go with Olivia. We are friends, maybe. Must be friends are the best. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago, you never dated anyone. Whoa, it's been a few weeks already. How you have experience and skills. If you want to change up your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. And the most romantic holiday ever is around the corner. Oh, uh, Harbor Day! <laughs> no, silly. Fourth of July. Nothing's more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. Question mark, question mark, question mark? I think I'm joking, but wait and see. Met my partner Samantha at a barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all... You'll be all this... I'll send you details soon. Okay. America, how romantic. Oh. Let's try Valera. Val? Hey, yo, Val! Oh, that's what this means. Um. Stop <laughs> Uh, let's go in with Val. Oh, four, three, obviously. You wanna play that with me? I still can't figure out how to make it work. This is trying to hack into it's my nice bios. That it's not so crowded.
I know it's not actually hacking. I'm being dumb. But I still can't figure out how to get it to work. I never had a game ask me to go into my BIOS and do something. That's that's still really fucking weird. Um I'll pass. Oh, look at that pass. What the game ask? Valorant ask me to like go into my BIOS and turn something on. Like, it's really weird. Like, I think turn on like secure boot, like TPM or something. Hey, it almost got the more for once. Almost. Yo, we can play in the arcade. Oh, neat. Arcades are romantic in a way. Huh. Machines become outdated almost as soon as they're made, you know? They're ephemeral, always replaced by something newer and better. Though there is some charm in older games as windows into the past. If you squint, pixel art has a lot in common with pointillism or mosaics. Did you ever play older games? I hate video games! <laughs> Says Confident Cow, a Twitch, a Twitch streamer for two years playing a video game right now. Uh, yeah, I kind of a big fan. Huh? Oh, wow, really? An antique reading of sorts, then? Maybe we should visit a game museum sometime. TPM should be enabled the fault on your PC code requires for Windows N. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I looked at my motherboard, and I didn't see... Like, I actually looked at the BIOS, and I didn't see, like, TPM as an option to turn on or off, like, at all. But that's what it was asking for, and I was confused, because I thought, like, in my mind, it, it was asking for secure boot, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I have Windows 11, don't I, don't I have that by default? I was really confused, but I guess not? I don't fucking know. But now we gotta get back to the fight and show those monsters who's boss. No. Curious, I broke into a wall once. Oh God, great shot. We did it. Yeah, that was a rough room. But yeah, so I tried to do the secure boot thing, and then like when I clicked the help button for like the weird ass thing it was asking for, um, I wonder if I get more when I go down the floor. And like. It go, when it goes to like the Valorant website or whatever, it's like, hey, uh, here are these manufacturer websites. Try going to them. And it doesn't have a link to my manufacturer's website on how to do it. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, fuck me, I guess, for choosing Gigabyte. That's us. Sure is. Alright, cool. Kind of crushing it right now. Knock on wood. Game is a little bit easier when you do more damage and uh, don't die in one hit. I don't mind taking a breather.
<sighs> Seems nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, I'm more tense too. Does it hurt? Uh-uh. No, no, it's a good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. Should I just do you playfully and sit on the fountain's edge? Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, no. We sit together in a com companionable silence. Thanks. That was nice. I like these a little more at peace. But now I'm ready to head back in. Into loot at <laughs> vodka. I can make vodka, chat. Let's go. Let's see where this goes. Um, what is this? Challenge room? Oh god. We did it! Let's go! Um, where's my prize? Is it in this room? Ooh! Shiny! Chemistry is in the recipe. Ooh! I would love to learn uh, new spells. How to get home from work. Alright, Vinyl, thanks for hanging out tonight. Maybe I'll see you when you get back. I'll probably be shooting for a bit longer. Magic kind of sucks with weenies, to be honest. On the floor, down for the count. Alright, I kind of didn't like uh, Val at first. Uh, but she's growing on me. Years. Telephone. Oh, that gave me two. Shit. You know, I too fear going on taking a phone call. Uh oh. That did a lot of damage. Holy Get shit, up. that phone did half of my HP! As a character or as a weapon? As a character. <laughs> Level up, let's go! Level up, let's go! Cool. I leveled her, her love up all the way, so that's good. I want to get rid of the pets. Hydrating. I don't the hand. I don't have the hands for it right now. this. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. 
I can make a helmet and I can make vodka. Throws a mine trap? That doesn't sound great. Ew, vodka? Listen, oh, alcohol tastes like crap. To me, anyways. Almost got you another day, but I need some info. Be honest. Would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? Swords only. <laughs> oh, I'm stretching. I need my own self care. I feel really good, actually. Sweet. Chat, what do you think? Buff? I want someone buff. Someone sweet. I know what I want. We need a sweet guy. I agree, Lucy. We go sweet. Okay, well, it was a trick question because this dude is buff and sweet. His name is Jonah and he's the best. <laughs> you date him then? <laughs> oh, he did. Um. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for that answer. Holy shit. He'd be a good friend, I think. No matter what happens. Um. Okay. <laughs> shit. Fucking, I went for the got him, but he went for the- I went for the no you, and he went with the no you already done. <laughs> uh, I like museums. I've only been to, like, one ever, and it was probably, like, one of the best museums in, like, all of America, but, you know, I had a good time. I've been to the one in New York, the- the MoMA. The Museum of Modern Art. It was pretty awesome. I'm not even a big fan of modern art. Wear something red? Ooh, sure. Red's my favorite color. JK, whatever, whatever you want. Well, I'm already wearing red. I don't like any of these lame hats. Hey, thank you. I'm not wearing red. Perfect. Just in time for a date. Dang, put some clothes on? I'm wearing a shirt. Jeez. Plus, it's not that cold. We found Valerie in the lobby and she leads you into the museum. Huh. In the first gallery, Valerie, or, it's not Valerie, it's Val, Valeria? Val. Val glares daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. Beauty is boring? I don't really like any of these options. For your information, I wanted all of it off, but Coco wouldn't do it. Only once. That's what makes it special. Mm-hmm. Exactly, right? Perfect symmetry? Leave it to the mathematicians, I say. Val guides you to the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer a gift? No. She talks about the art with intimate fondness, like they're eccentric family members. Mm. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which one would it be? Uh, I'd never steal? <laughs> Think of it as a hypothetical. A thought experiment. You've never really thought about it before? I'd steal the birth of Venus by a Bulgaro guru. It's in the Musée de Osre, ground floor near the <sighs> stairs. The real issue is the size. It's 3 by 2.18 meters and would, would be a crime to roll it up. Uh, yeah, you've thought this suspiciously 
through. Huh? Well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'd miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you liberate? Uh, chat. I'm going to look up these paintings out of curiosity. I obviously know the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Limits the kiss. Um, ill. Never seen this before. Ill. Oh, Keith Summer Days. I have never seen this one, but I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Skulls and sunflowers are curious juxtapositions. Yeah, I can see that one speaking to you. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them, anyway. Art should be free, out in the world. Not hidden away like this. Well, both, a lot of museums are free, or at least really cheap, so... I don't, I don't see the problem with museums, to be honest. In fact, I think it's actually probably a good idea to keep them all kind of in a... One place? Huh. Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum is free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we can look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People were saying it's the Roses of Venus. You know, the anonymous graffiti artists. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Hmm. Just as you're getting to know her, Betty. Get to know her better. Uh, Val's attentions wanders. Look around to see what's distracting her. And wait. Oh, it's this guy. He's standing at the gallery entrance, glaring at you both. Um. I'm so sorry. I'll take care of this. She grabs the guy by the shoulder and pulls him away. She whispers to him. They look intimate. Like they've known each other forever. After a few moments, Valve returns, looking flushed and angry. Ah. I want to get out of here. Um. Why was he here? Uh uh. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to be somewhere else with you. Uh, let me see if you roll further. It means your body get confused when you roll out of sight. Roll further. Uh, yeah. You take Valerie home to my apartment. Oh my. <laughs> Nice place. <laughs> She's confident and knows what she wants. She figures out quickly what you want, too. Oh. Not. Uh. Uh. After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect in your palm, you're warm and cozy and soon fall asleep. Oh, chat. Am I about to get ba banned? Oh my. This is only our second, our first real date. The first one I just met you. This is so lewd. Uh, you took her there all on you. I guess. Okay, so you and a, and a plus one are invited to my 4th of July barbecue tomorrow. Jonah really wants to meet you. He doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. Are you going to invite anyone? Um, Wait, do I invite someone there? New phone. <laughs> Morning. Let's see you again, but I need to think. Let's have done for a while. Yeah, let's stab.
All right, chat. I don't know how I feel about any of these these weapons so far. We'll play a little bit longer though. I didn't know how long I plan on streaming tonight, but I'm having some fun. Looks like the Los Angeles Ballet Company has come to town. Oh god, that's expensive. I like this one, this is cute. I don't think I have any fabric. Red is nice. Red is the best color there is. That's just a straight fact. Hell yeah. We should be able to make the oh, vodka. That's what I needed that for. What's oh, vodka's a gift. I see. All right, chat, uh, do I invite someone to this 4th of July party? Or do I meet this guy and go nah? I assume nah means, um, I'm gonna meet someone, right? Or nah means I'm gonna meet Jonah. Definitely means I'm bringing someone, right? Is that what that means? Let's see what happens when I hit definitely. I'm looking back vinyl. Can I do this now or do I wait? I don't think I can do this now. All right, let's go back into the dungeon, I guess. Val's kind of my favorite, but not by like a lot. It's nice that it's not so crowded. Her voice kind of startled me, gonna be honest. Okay, so that does like no fucking damage. recipe I think Isaac needs some chance he has to shift the life of his dad you know 
That's true. Maybe next floor I'll, I'll put them back on. Oh, hi, Olaf. I do not like this. Why do you have Booba? What? You don't like Booba, Olaf? You're not, you're not a Booba fan? You're not a fan of Booba? Yo, hydration is important, chat. Nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. Now I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, more tense. Oh, I've already done this before. It's the same dialogue. I thought maybe I might have been different this time. Enjoy though, right? Yeah. Of course, what do you think I'm here? The pay isn't that great. She nudges you playfully, but sits on the fountain's edge. We sit together in a complainable Thanks. silence. Well, this is a terrible room. Quick, grab the money and leave. Did you see the rest of her? <laughs> It's true. There's much more to look at. Yeah, the floor. Let's let's keep looking around the floor before we go down. so bad when it's with you oh so like is the mall the only place let's just put this here yo raspberry liquor let's go liquor i hardly know her goku has flanks you see the thighs Thighs are where it's at. Oh boy, here we go. Yeet! Looks like the main character really hates old technology. Go to the little door I saw. Oh, I want this. I like the music in this game.
Oof. Got a little spicy in there. Anime t-shirt recipe? I wish the spells weren't like the least like useful things in the world. It does so little damage. Oh! That was close. Got it! Holy shit, that was a lot of money. Yeah, right there, arcade again. Hmm. That leads you to the love tester. Whoa. Yeah, let's try this one. It's one of the old ones. I think it uses skin conductivity. Love tester device has two metal rods. Valeria stands in front of one. Yeah. Well, are you brave enough? This will tell us what our future is like. Yeah, sure, I'll touch it. Machine lights up and beeps as if calibrating. I'm thinking about you and how cute you are. Wow, Val, Val, Val was much more flirty than I would have expected given her first interaction with us. The machine suddenly sparks and starts smoking. Um. Uh, there's a few ways to interpret that, but I think I'll take it as a good sign. We're just too hot for this old rickety thing to handle. Kisses you softly. Whoa. Damn. Guess we have to get back to work, huh? You can't scandalize the monsters. Too much SMH? Too much! You think there's such a thing as too much flirting? I can't grab the thing because it's out of bounds. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. I kind of expected Fire Emblem 3 House of Burnetta and not Flirty. That's not what I expected. I expected like... Well, I expected Rainbow Dash when I said it. Someone who acts tough, especially a lot at first and kind of a tsundere. heavy attack more since it seems to like break a lot of projectiles.
Yeah, we could take him. There we go. I wanted to use that spell to make sure I get this. Oh! Where's my prize? Fuck! What was the point of the challenge? I thought I got a prize. Chad, I don't think there's a prize. Bullshit. Yeah, they lie. What was the point of the challenge? Ooh, massage chairs. Got a little time for self indulgence, right? You send the massage chairs. They begin to vibrate and knead your back. Oh, that sounds nice right now. <sighs> Too soon it's over. You feel more relaxed. No. Miller stretches with a happy groan. Huh. You think the monsters use massage chairs to relax when they're not fighting? Oh, I want a freaking massage chair right now. No, probably not. She nods, suddenly extremely serious. Mm -hmm. All those weird vertebrae need special massages expertise, I'm sure. So we chop them up. Let's go. Y'all need one. That's what happens when you get older. Right, Gam Gam? Was not great. <laughs> Angie. Yay, level up. Level up again. Level up again. Obviously, Val. She accepts and says she'll meet you there. Move over, you pick up something to share. Uh. Cheesies? Is that like Cheez Its? Yeah, let's bring some cheesies. Tomorrow it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You bite anyway. Even if nobody else wants them, you can eat the whole bag yourself. It's true, I can eat a whole bag of Cheez Its by myself. You find Val waiting outside Jesse's house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? I miss your voice. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Yo, nice peacock shirt. Everyone be friendly, okay? Ah, oh, I'm gonna lay down. I'm back. Oh, I'm just. Uh... 
it's like playing Yakuza. I gotta lay back during these cutscenes. Three strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cheesies! Samantha goes nuts for these. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh my. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. You're very welcome. Want a little tour? I need to go and prep burgers and shrooms. Like, like we're doing, we're doing some drugs? Yeah. I brought a bakava too. Homemade bak baklava. Oh man, I can't wait. Thanks so much. Mm. In the meantime, Coco, meet Jonah. Here, go talk. Man, this guy is big. He looks like a homeless man. Yes, he pushes a strange towards a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um, hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. Can you become a sword? No, not really. Is the city fight monsters? Is that right? So you're some kind of hero? Uh, it's no big deal. Hmm. That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. I've been thinking about trying the dungeon jump myself sometime. Maybe. Just to see you wield, um, weapons down there? I know I said I can't become a sword, but... I can... sometimes be... an axe? I don't do often do it, though. Ooh, that's amazing! <laughs> Thanks. It doesn't take much effort, though. I just uh, decide to change shape. Like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyways, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but... Uh... You promise we won't hurt anyone? Like not even animals? Uh, only monsters! And who decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? Um... The monsters... Do... They're... They're, they're monsters. They don't really de decide... To don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we want some time. Or if I want to hang out like as humans, I'm usually at the bench. Uh, it sounds good. I rejoins you and Jonah with a smile. And who's this cute friend of yours? Hmm. Jonah. Wait, we've met. I know you. You're the one that's always bought duck at the grocery store, right? Eric abruptly elbows his way into this conversation. Oh god, he's back. Oh. Hello. May, May I, kiss I kiss your hand? Um No thanks or go away. Um I'm going to go with go away. Now my sweet, that is quite rude. Even if I know you're joking. Who invited this creep? Well, Jesse knows him, so that's kind of why he's here. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Uh... I don't think she's joking, dude. Yeah, thanks, Jonah. You're a real one. Well, it's a free country. That's what this holiday is all about, right? Hmm. And I'll freely decide to leave this party now. Good day. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Yo, she mad. Val mad. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Are are you okay, Coco? Eric really gets to you. Eric really gets to you, huh? Uh, yeah, I kind of hate him. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Uh, why couldn't I say that? Okay. By the way, gives you a little smile of sympathy. That guy gives me the creeps. Mm. Eric, Jesse, uh, Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. Uh, I have enough problems. I have enough problems. That's me too, don't we all? He only goes by surprising quickly with lively conversation. He burgers and grilled portobello steadily. 
walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. Uh, I walk that fine line every day. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets, watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild, romantic energy surging through you. You have to obviously kiss Val. <laughs> Hell yeah. You share a tender moment together as the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those are some explosions, all right. Now back to partying. I hope Jesse won't think I'm rude if I cut out now. I have work I want to do tonight. Huh. Celebrating imp imperialist colonizers isn't really my jam. All right, Val. You got some opinions on the American Revolution? It was fun though, huh? Nice meeting you, Jonah. Val gives you a light peck on the cheek on her way out. See ya. Left to vent yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. Say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, chat. We've been playing this game for like almost three hours. I don't like really anyone that much. I kind of like Val. Like, she's pretty cool, I guess. But, like, she's not a hardcore smash. Okay. Uh... Fashion design recipe. I need fabric and glue. Well, I might as well craft this. I have the things for it. Dilemma of dating sims. The only thing she says annoys me. Uh, yeah. Agree, there's not that really pops out to be the best. Dilemma. I don't even know how to spell dilemma. <laughs> I got you were saying, Koi. Explain some things, please. Uh, sure. Whoa, is that somewhere to find me? I'm thinking, I guess that it's the park. I want to meet more characters. I met Jonah, he's all right, he was like a quiet guy. Nice being with the BBQ, it'd be fun to talk more sometime. If you ever wanted, maybe I could show you some surfing spots. Ooh, you surf? Yeah, Verona's got decent waves most mornings. Either way, I hope your summer VB is the best. Uh, not bad so far. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Come to the beach sometime if you like it. So, uh, how's the BBQ? So romantic, right? Uh, you know what? Uh, sure, you win. I'll give it to you, Jesse. I'll give it to you. I knew it. Honestly, and considering my job here done. Met some fo great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can beg off and let you do things for the summer. Is that okay? No, more dates, please. Uh, okay, I keep my eye out, but no promises. I got problems of my own, you know. Love you, cuz. TTYL. Tittle. Toodles! Um, hmm. Day. this cuz i assume uh yeah he's at the beach i'm going here
You arrived just as a hearse drives away. It seems someone died. Okay, this is the this this doesn't sound like the most romantic date. Gonna be honest. A young person stares down the street after it. Goodbye. The bird talks. The bird talks. Until next time, Alice. Farewell. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Okay. Oh, it's you. Huh. Why did you come here? Um. You know me? Never mind that right now. Answer me. Why did you come here? Yeah, can a lady just walk down the street? It pursed her lips, eyes dark. No, I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. The monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. All right. If it weren't for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. I don't even know who Alice is. I don't even know who you are. Um. Oh, he's a scythe. Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. It seems serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life's on the line. Back off, I'm warning you. Strong willed. Self possessed. I was supposed to do as if enticed by your challenge. There's a moment of silence as a breeze passes between you. Welcome back, Sophistos. Wait, what am I waiting for? A scythe? OMG? Yeah, but they're an asshole. Is your back okay? Well, you know, when you get older, your back kind of hurts, right? Posture check? Thank you. My posture's pretty good. I don't care. Listen, if they weren't a straight up asshole, I'd be for this. This scythe is kind of cool looking. <sighs> Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Pretty human. I like the bird. Can I date the bird? Hush. Uncertainty passes over their fi so, features. Why? Why did you come to Verona Beach? Uh. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm Rowan. My threat wasn't personal, I assure you. Yeah, it kind of felt personal. Personally, I felt like my personal life was going to be gone. And I suppose I would also feel angry in your situation. I should have expected as much since you rose to my challenge. I must remember to treat you as an equal, even if you are ignorant of some matters. Ow. It's the more weight you have in the front now. It's okay, I work out. I do squats. Why do you think I have such nice thighs? Oh, well. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. Can I ask how many nice Twitch integrated throwing system jokes have you gotten so far? Uh, zero, actually. Well, at least phrased in that particular way. I've gotten a couple of like, you know, you gotta make sure your tits work with your tits. I got that one. Um, maybe he's a soon? Oh, gee, I like him already. Oh, see, you have a problem. My grandmother is gone either way. Ow! As you can see, my tits work just fine. And you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your chaos. Yeah, Koi was the one who said it. Uh, can't, oh, what? Chaos? Survive? You know, dungeons everywhere, creatures running amok. Someone's violating the laws of nature. There's a wrongness rippling. You've been seeing weapons damaged, haven't you? It's a pattern of evil intent. Only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again. And I should get back to it. That's what Alice would have wanted. Are you a witch? You don't acknowledge your question and turn away. All right, bye, bird. That was kind of rude. 
Chat, I still have yet to find a character that I like. Well, I like Val. I don't like her that much, but I guess I like her. You're not Alistair, her tits work fine? What? You can't milk those! Chat, this is the ultimate problem of a dating sim. If you can't find anyone you like to date, then what is the point of playing? Try to give him a chance, please? Oh my god, Boosie. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll wait until I meet one more character and see how I feel. Valeria, uh, Val is sitting on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees you. Hey. Oh, hey, you came. I'm really glad. Val, I'll always come for you. I wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together, not one bit. Um. I wish I had an Ah! I deserve that one. I wish I had been... I don't know. Uh... Wrong reasons. Hmm. Yeah, it's all a bit complicated. I can talk about it, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Ah! Shut up, ducks! Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feed ducks at the park. Um, I'm not. Good, I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me started on those snapping bills. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck, got too close with a piece of bread, and then... Ow. <laughs> Gone, just like that. Uh... Is that... true? <sighs> of Al's lips twist into a rueful grimace, and she sighs. Okay, maybe I exaggerated, but only a little. Um... Promise not to laugh? It didn't happen to a friend. <laughs> it was me. I'll hold up a hand showing you a faint scar on her index finger. Uh, I could kiss it better. She extends her hand, you look into her eyes and kiss the tip of her finger. And maybe suck on a little bit too. She shivers and you slide your lips down to your palm, her wrist. Oh. Well, we're at a park. Hold up. We can't do that here. I'm not an exhibitionist. Not really. After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> You're a. Uh, of that. Very lewd. All of our interactions with her are very lewd. The sound of loud quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. Whatever will they think? No. Well, next time, we'll go on a date without the risk of duck. Attacks do critical damage to confuse enemies. Ooh, that's huh. good. We were talking about something actually important before. Right, I remember. I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. I'm listening. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for putting up with my procrastination. Huh. So that guy, right? Who keeps showing up? His name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. A um... couple of years? And um, I dated his sister as well at the same time. I mean, they both knew. Dual wielding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose I was. You don't like her much? Why not? She's alright. Trust me, it's even more work than it sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned. We got better at being together. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me. Three artists against the world. Uh, you guys are the artists. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believe in the same things. What things? Beauty and love. What else is there to believe in? But Jessica wanted more. More recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start and Jake followed me. I know you hadn't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. 
Uh, he's in love with you? Maybe. Huh. Maybe a little. We were together for a long time. Is that so strange? Ugh. But I think I always loved Jessica a little more. That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, it happens when you're in a polyamorous relationship. I can't say I have any personal experience in the matter. I'm trying to make up for it now by being a good friend. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I suppose you could say. <sighs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot, following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him to back off. For real, this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got a little gift. Here. I got a beret! Alright, Val is my favorite character. I love berets. It's on the museum gift shop. I thought of you. I can't wait to try it on. You don't have to wear it, but you look dashing if you do, I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know, my paintings if you wanted. Yeah, sure. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had you inspiration lately. Ciao. I look forward to seeing what you think. Next time. You have a lot to think about. As you leave, the afternoon light fades into evening. Find a scrap of paper that slipped into you from the into your window from outside. My window? Uh, that looks like an upside down phone number. Only some of the numbers are upside down. The paper is thick and strong as if torn from an old book. That's too long to be an IP address. I don't know what a rotation cipher is. I don't think it's the Dewey Decimal number. So GPS coordinates? Try using them as pairs of GPS coordinates, backwards and forwards. They mostly get wilderness and farmland in India and the Middle East. Study it for a while, but you aren't sure how to use this information helpfully. You set the puzzle aside for now, itching for a more physical challenge. It looks like another ca beautiful California day outside. I didn't even realize we we're in California, chat. Chat. We got the beret. Fancy French accent not included. Well, who's messaging me? Mom! This tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to write, but is it a uh, serious? We're a low bing! <laughs> is California the Cali is weird? Yeah, a little weird. Which that's all it takes. Wait. Well, what what does it all take? The the beret? I don't know yet. Okay, okay, no pressure. I'm just happy for you. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Which I guess is a saying about marriage. Wait. Is it a saying about marriage? Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean clean. I'm not a nun. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Did you see this? Uh, ooh, it looks cool. Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Hi, Serena. New model looks good. I'm glad you like it. The new ear tag is a nice touch. Yeah. I thought it was the perfect idea. I was like, ooh, I should get a new number, and then, yeah. Glad you like it. How's it going, Serena? The cattle seem to really like this, so it makes me happy. I wonder if I can go to the dunge with the scythe guy or not. 
Uh, let's go with good. Okay. We'll go with good. I hope everything's good with you, Serena. The tag is perfect. I'll focus on other things to notice it at first. You know, that's fair. This new model has a lot of features and assets. So, I understand. We find Val and Isaac relaxing together. It's been a while, 26 hours, but I'll fill you in later. Yeah, let me know. I haven't heard too much about what's going on with you and Zeke. I know. Oh, whoa, 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 Lucy. You can't just take that off without asking first. Um, how? But I'll see you later. Yeah, but I don't know what's up with, uh, what's going on with you and Zeke recently, since we haven't had anime night in a while. Uh, and the last anime night, Zeke can even talk. Can you solid and just move up and down for a sec? Just hit and they jiggle. Uh, yeah, Wussy's right. Ow. I could probably make it more exaggerated, but... It's not as bouncy as my hair is. Mm, cool, thanks. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Mm. Depends on my mood, of course, but perhaps the briar, walnut, and rosemary waffles I had a few summers ago? You got that bra support? It's true. It's true. It was probably mostly butter, but if so, I'd bet it was from a very happy cow and freshly churned that day. Hmm. Oh, I think they're talking about milk. Hmm? And you? Hmm, tough call. I'd say the pork ribs I had on street corner in New Orleans, probably. <laughs> Just can't resist a bit of spice. Hey. Oh, Coco, what about you? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? Uh, it was home cooked. You describe one of your favorite food-based memories. You helped your family all day with the meal until the whole house smelled like it. You feel a brief wave of homesickness just thinking about that day. When you describe it to Isaac and Val, you feel yourself blushing. Hmm, <laughs> that'd be perfect. Thank you for sharing such a lovely memory with us. Sounds like a big commitment, but at least it's one with a payoff. Maybe we should meet for a cheese and wine plate sometime to compare notes. Yeah. I'd love that. Come by my, come by the studio anytime. Just be careful not to get paint on your suit. Right. Right. Absolutely. See you soon, then. Ciao. Well. Nice seeing you both. Yo, threesome. Let's go. I can't go with the scythe, Wusi. for fools put rarity up there because her waifu is a joke wow wow you know just for that i'm tempted to put down twilight sparkle but i'm never gonna not you take the opportunity to have rarity on screen I'm a bit disappointed, I can't use the scythe person. <laughs> Tiger Lily? Yo, thank you for the raid, how's it going? Welcome on in. How was your stream, Lily? Hi, Dank Meme Boy. How's it going? Ray! Welcome on in. 
I hope you had a wonderful April, April Fool's tree. Whoa, I got attacked by Yon. Sorry. Going good? Hell yeah. New model? Ooh, ooh, yeah, new model. Gotta get something new for April Fool's Day. Look at Lily's fancy platinum badge. Yeah. I think she's close to getting, uh, relatively close to getting uh, diamond soon. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Let me give you a proper shout out. Hey, look, there's a diamond. Ooh, playing some Destiny 2. Nice, nice. Well, I hope everyone's doing good today. I'm confident Cal and guys gonna be Coco for sure. And uh, today I'm playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh, seeing if as it I have- it's too intense, just let the monsters win. It's okay. Hey, no pussy. Uh, for for April Fool's Day, I got this new model, and you know, I figured I'd go with the theme and do a little little dating sim, dating sim slash roguelike with boyfriend dungeon. Yo, level ups matter a lot. Holy crap. That was very easy. Stream was great. Uh, got some grinding done. Now we can go make me restart my computer. My capture is being silly for me right now. I was having some scuff earlier. My, my OBS crashed randomly. And initially I thought that was because uh, Resident Evil 4, because this one didn't happen. Um, but turns out something is wrong with my OBS, so I'm gonna need to figure out how to fix that. What are you cooking for dinner, Lily? I hope you have a wonderful dinner. I've been in this game for a while, it looks really cool. Uh, I like the- I like it! I like switching back and forth between the- the dungeon crawling and the dating sim part. My current problem is I don't like any of the characters that much. Um, and that's not just because I don't typically like guys, it's because, uh, I just- they all have glaring flaws. One's an asshole, one is a stalker, one has daddy issues, one has trust issues, one tried to kill me when we first met. Um... I think we have one guy that was just kind of boring. So... Look with the mommy mick. <laughs> oh my god, that email, please. Is this where the milk comes from in Woosie's dungeon? I completely forgot about Woosie's dungeon in her Minecraft server. But it's no secret that the milk has come from me this whole time. Okay, I like this special I, I got a lot because it puts people to sleep. It's really convenient. Night helmet recipe. Oh, hi, Ivers. How's it going? TC got CDs. Damn. Yeah, I do. Two of them. One for each C. How's it going, Ivers? It's good to see you. you. Gotta learn to let people inspire their flaws. You know, you're right, Serena. You're right. Which is why I like Val. She's not my favorite. She's definitely got flaws, but I like her. The soon is the best. Of course, Wusi would go for the soon today. But I only just met them, so I don't I don't know how I feel about them yet. Uh, first impression, not great. They try to kill me immediately. So... Doing good, are you? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. I had a good day today. I'm glad, uh, besides OBS crashing, not much scuff. The cattle like the new model. Uh, not too surprised by that, but, you know. Discussion was what kind of milk? Oh, you know what? That's true, Bunny. That's true. <laughs> That's the secret, though. That's the confident cow secret about what kind of milk. I will say that it's thick. Mm hmm? 
I think this is the same event as before. Uh, yeah, this is the same mm. dialogue. <laughs> Uh, thanks. All right, let's do some more challenges. Let's go. Wow, uh, I think I think it got stuck on the corner, so the projectiles weren't actually coming out. Tiny cow. Here's a good look at the model. Although tiny cow, uh, for for this Coco looks a lot smaller. Here. There we go. Check out the thighs. Yeah, I want to do. I forgot to set this up before stream. I didn't want to do it while streaming. I want to have a thigh redeem. Gotta have a thigh redeem. Nice thigh highs, thank you, thank you. I just want to see the outfit kind of saying nice, thanks. Uh, I kind of just kind of drew it as I went along. Um, I was like, okay, I start with the face, right, and, and came up with the face, and then with the with the shirt, I'm like, you know what, what a crop top, you know. And then I thought about the shorts, but I wasn't 100% sold on it. But um, Lucy was like, "Oh, you should do shorts with uh, with like stockings and for the thigh highs." I'm like, "Ooh, that's a good idea." Um, I flip flop back and forth a lot between uh -oh. between what kind of color stockings. I thought about white. I thought about black. Ow! I am almost dead. But if you've learned, it's worth it. I died. <laughs> I went between black and white, and then one white and one black, but I ended up settling on black since uh, my normal Coco has the black pants. I also forgot to turn down the volume this whole time. Feels a little loud. <laughs> wow, Bunny seems to like it a lot. Prop shops are vending trending right now too? True, true. I wonder if maybe somehow it's a phone number, it could be. Oh, wait, what? Um you answer each number that's right side up. Finally, I've been waiting. Um, who is this? You don't know? That's amusing. I suppose even the strong-willed have their blind spots. Is it the tsundere? There are multiple meanings in the numbers, but good enough. It's Rowan. It is the tsundere. Come to my house when you have a moment. I have a use for you. Whoa! No messages? All right, now that's more accurate. Okay, Woosie, calm down. I'm going, I'm going. I also, I believe they are non-binary. I run outside. Yeah, they give you a brief nod. <sighs> I suppose you want me to invite you in for tea. I guess people do that. Ooh, I like tea. Good, then you will help me gather brewing supplies. I was going to look for an herb on the mountain. Crowley thought you might want to help. Crowley? That's what you named your bird? Crowley? Are you serious? Ill tea? Oh my god, Woosie, don't make me ban you. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Crowley bobs his head, licking his beak. Pretty human. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. Uh, I don't know herbs. <sighs> Try to be useful in some other way. At least don't slow us down. Yeah, I don't like them. They start walking off out towards the hills. They walk together along a narrow trail in silent companionship. Here, Alice once found Al, Laurel, Sumik, and Black Sage here somewhere. 
Since you said you're ignorant of botany, <laughs> uh, listen, don't get all macho on me. I need you to do something, please. Just rest here, right on this rock. I'll be back. Uh, uh, oh, I'll chat with Crowley. No. He's coming with me. We'll handle this. Stay put. Aw. They wade into the underbush without looking back. Wait for a while. The breeze is soft and the sun is warm. But a girl can only take so much breeze and sun. You start to feel antsy. Uh, explore nearby. You follow the trail that Roman's footsteps have made in the brush. You think you see them and turn into turn a corner to find it was just a shadow. After a little while, you realize you're not even sure you're following their trail. You're alone, lost in the wilderness. Your phone has no reception. Uh, I retrace my steps. You soon find your way back to the rock. Only moments later, Roland returns. Wow, you actually waited? It must be less chaotic than I assumed. I found the Laurel Sumac, but not the Black Sage. I wonder. Yep, totally stayed at the rock. Nope, not giving a gift. <sighs> Don't know them very well. He, they did try to kill me. I don't, which, you know, not not a big fan of dying, gonna be honest. Ow. What do you wonder? No. Doesn't matter. I have to face this. It's just me now. Coco, I have something important to ask you. Heavy finishers create a temporary gravity well pulling enemy sword to the center. Hey, you were going to their uh, to their house. They didn't know. I was walking outside their house. Okay. If you were to wield me, what would your end goal be? Uh, strength, l l love. Rowan laughs darkly. Flattery or sincerity? I can't tell. Perhaps I'll never know. At the edge of town, they pull a black rectangle from their pocket. Our dark prisms are connected. Okay, this 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 person's weird. They poke their prism and your phone vibrates. I don't know if our purpose is aligned quite, but call on me if souls need harvesting. Farewell. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> all right, dude. They go in their separate way and you head home. Journey is begun. We are the fool. Uh, you're the fool. Fucking got him. Perhaps, but that's not what I meant. So I've lost my high priestess. Oh, you're talking about tarot cards. Hey, so I'm really very sorry for how I, how, how I acted when we met. It was really emotional, and I took it out on you. And that was wrong. Please, can you forgive me? Uh, okay. Um. Sure. Thank you. Godspeed. They are an interesting person. Just wanted to stop by and say hi and stuff before, by heading to bed. Uh, happy streaming with the model. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello. I'm glad you like it. Seems a lot of the cattle like it. I wonder, I wonder why. I wonder why. But I hope you sleep well. I hope you have a good night, bunny. Titties? You know, that might be it. That that's that is one answer. Thank you for the headpads, Lucy. You find Rowan arguing with Val. Um Rowan, no offense, but you can't pay me in leaves. Petals are what even is this dust? Facts. Herbs are not mere leaves. They are conduits of the earth's power into the body. There's a moment of silence. Is she staring daggers at them? Hmm. It's very cute. The rosy cheeks, the sweet smile. Yeah, see? And yeah, probably the boobas. I'm actually very proud of the face. I like how the smallest of details really go a long way on, on making a model go from like male to female. At least in this anime style. I need money, cash or credit, conduits of my power into my bank account. Good day. Oh, Coco, wonderful. Maybe you can help her understand. I'm trying to purchase a portrait of Crowley here to go on the family wall. Pretty bird. But it seems my award-winning strain of Midnight Sun Saffron isn't good enough in exchange. Uh-uh. Even with a friend discount, you gotta pay actual money. 20 bucks a minimum. 
Uh, honestly, you did a really good job on the model. Go on. Thank you, Dark. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad a lot of people showed up today. I was a little worried that not many people were showing up. I didn't exactly advertise the new model that heavily. Ah, oh, stretchies, but I'm glad. Listen, I'll pay. No. I must insist that you do not do this. I pay my own debts. Wait, what then? You sure you don't have $20? Rowan? Future. I'd just rather give you something less forgettable in exchange for something so important and unique. I have an idea. Why not show me some magic in exchange instead? It must be worth something. Mm -hmm. What? But that's very personal. Are you sure? Love magic? <laughs> Oh no, I have enough problems without getting into another love triangle or pentagram, whatever this is. <sighs> Look, forget it. Here, it's just a sketch, but you can have this if you want. Chance over a small, beautiful acrylic of a white raven in flight, looking proud yet elegant. Hmm. To be honest, I found it funny you were showing up V2 and then suddenly swap genders. <laughs> yeah, I came up I came up with the idea of that because um Lebusi brought it up to Bree once, um, and Bree was like, "I was like, what? What is it? You're actually working on nothing this whole time, and you're just not gonna show anything uh, on Saturday." And I was like, "Oh shit! You know what? That's a good idea, Bree. I'll take it." And I took that idea to like start off with this, this fake, this fake reveal of, "Haha, nothing here, April Fools," and then bam. Titties. It's magnificent. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Ah. Broly puffs up his feathers in the light. <laughs> Next time, bring your money with you, alright? We peasants like that stuff, even if it's forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, I like how someone in chat asked for the fem cow. I know Vinyl did, because Vinyl knew, but I like Baroness was asking for it, and I'm like, yes! This is perfect. Rowan and Crowley depart, looking pleased with themselves. Alright, chat. We'll go down one more dunge. One more dungeon run, and then I'll probably call it a night. And we'll try out the new scythe. Keep your eyes open. Everything means more than it seems. Whoa. Okay, well, I like... I like these effects. I was waiting for the Kalkini. Can't forget at least got a bit of that. True, true. I don't know what to do about that. I kind of want to make it redeem, but like... I don't know, it's so lewd. But it had to be a little bit more special than that. Do the challenge to get the thing. Oh, that was 
be wow, fat stacks. That was easy. Okay, so this leave the time magic, very useful. Same with the vortex of doom. Did not need to heal. I wanted to roll. I don't know why I hit LB to roll. Oh, when seems OP, he does. Time set with friends is rarely a waste. Wow, I actually didn't think Rowan to be the kind of person to say that. Rowan eyes and massage cheers uneasily. Mm -hmm. They give a massage of their own accord. How? They're only chairs. Electricity. No. Thank you. No, thank you. I've heard plenty of electric chairs and do not want to sample one. I don't to explain the difference, but Rowan is gazing into the distance thoughtfully. Hmm. Does this mean even chairs have free will? That they begin their journeys as four-legged fools? <laughs> they chuckle to themselves. Can you imagine a chair ascending to the world? That would be something, no? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to hear me, Coco. But trust me, Lady Frida would have loved it. They're still chuckling as they prepare to re-enter the dungeon. Uh, okay. Uh, Rowan is an interesting fellow. That was really easy. Yeah, Rowan seems pretty good. They have really good range. They have really good range that the that little pull in that the thing that the heavy attack has is pretty good. Whoa! I hit heal. Bullshit. Level up, let's go! No, good thing I have insurance. At least allegedly. Thank you. Godspeed. Whoa! Sorry, that was a Crowley. So I could use your help. Any appraisers coming to assess my inheritance, and I don't wish to be alone with them. Will you come? Um, yeah, of course. They're very strange. Alright, chat. I think I'm gonna call it there. I'll go on the date. I'll do it for Woosy. And then I'll probably call it there. Chat, in the trailer there was a cat, and I wanted to meet the cat, but I didn't get to meet the cat. 
I am sad. You would want the cat? I mean, don't you like cats? No pussy? Yeah, who doesn't like pussy? Cats. Mansion's front door does not have a doorbell, only a Raven headed door knocker. I'll probably knock sharply to make sure they hear me. The door is cold against your fingers as you wrap it against the door. The door swings open. It seems dark inside. Uh, enter. It hasn't only stepped inside, but it's so dark that it takes your eyes a moment to adjust. <laughs> a hoarse chuckle rasps from a shadow. Nothing more. Only this and nothing more. That sounds like the crow. Hush. Hush, Broly. No jokes right now, please. Uh, please don't mind him. Thank you for coming. The tea is nearly ready. Nothing more. You find your you find you're in a sitting and you're in a sitting room that smells of dusty feathers and moldy fabric. A crow named Crowley. Yeah, I love Crowley's name. I like Crowley a lot. That's my favorite character. Good day. Cause you said you like tea. I made a fresh blend: saffron, rose, and cardamom. I haven't had cardamom, but saffron uh, is pretty good. I hope it calms our nerves enough that we can endure the appraisal. The appraiser will be here soon, but don't try to, your usual intimidation tactics. What is that supposed to mean? It seems both lonely and bitter, which is dangerous. Let's use a light touch. Follow my lead. Can I lightly touch you instead? <laughs> Roland rolls her eyes, lips quirking as if unsure whether to smile or frown. Nothing more. Now that we have the theoretical questions out of the way, or rhetorical questions, a knock on the door inserts you both, which then opens. Ugh. Sigh. Why, hello, lovelies. I wasn't expecting Coco as well. You're a scythe for sore eyes. Hmm. Are you here to bid on the estate items as well? Uh. Let Rowan answer. Super tea, delicious, layered, and Rowan meets you eye with a small, grateful smile. Uh, they wanted you to do the talking, so. Coco was my associate, serving as a witness, that is all. Would you like some tea? I harvested the leaves just this morning. No. I'd rather not waste time, no matter how exciting. My store has to be closed while I'm here, after all. Let's just see the blades and be done with it. Rowan brings out a long silk wrapped package that they unwrap to reveal a sword and sickle. They're family heirlooms from the British side of the family. Well, the sword is in the style of an ancient Briton around 2,000 years ago. It's fine workmanship for a replica. I'd give you 300 for it. Rowan closes their, th their uh, throat and speaks almost too quietly to be heard. No. It's not a replica. Ugh. This isn't a 2,000 year old sword, my dear NB. Be reasonable. It's a blade that Baudica wielded when she defeated the Romans and chased them from Wales. Uh. Franco blinks, then blinks again. He clears his throat awkwardly, gathering his thoughts. First of all, Baudica didn't defeat the Romans, they defeated her, sadly. Uh. Imperialist propaganda. Second of all, if you think this blade is more than 50 years old, you're dumber than you look. How dare you! I'm just stating facts. Whether Roman is trying to deceive me or has been deceived is immaterial. You have a certificate or some other documentation I can expect? Roman doesn't respond. Eric snorts and turns his attention to the sickle. Here, there is a bit of a family resentment. Hmm? What is this, a cousin? You tell me. Hmm. Well, it's potentially a bit older than the other, maybe a hundred years or so. What is this crest? You're the expert. Now, now, don't sulk. It ruins your pretty forehead. The crest adds a bit of exotic flavor. Not many collectors of sickles, though, so it'll also be $300. I see. Hmm. So we have a deal? We won't get a better offer anywhere. The crow is pissed. Crowley's angry. Tell your pigeon to let the adults do the negotiation. Oh my god! He's not a pigeon! I'm angry. Ow. Oh, hi, Nate. 
when I think we have discovered all my kinks. And Kaku does this, does this. What kink has awakened within you when looking upon my new model? Huh, Nate? Look, if you think being called a pigeon is an insult, you're hopeless. Everyone knows pigeons are the most romantic of birds. You should just go. Ah. 400, but that's my final offer. We won't reap the benefits of my expertise, hmm? <sighs> I said leave. Now. Eric hesitates and looks to you, a flinty defiance in his eyes. I decay, but can I take you out to dinner? I'm sorry, but Lucy would kill me first before I said yes to that question. <laughs> R63, ooh, ooh. R6, R63 is a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing. Uh, just look at Bowsette. <laughs> Lucy can come with. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, you will kill me? Yeah, yeah. I'll force you if I have to. Eric deflates and mutters as he heads out the door. Ugh. I make time out of my day pro bono, and do I even get a thank you? Reap what you sow. I always shut the door on Eric unceremoniously. Ah, well, I should have known better than to trust a profane merchant. Besides, which, his aura seems to be sickening, as if it were rottening. Rotting. I wouldn't have sold them to him, even for millions. I was mostly curious. Uh, what is the sickle? Hmm. The sickle belonged to... Tlon uh, Tlachka, the great druidess of holy fire. I wanted to know what that was worth to people today, and now I do. I wish Alice were here to tell me what to do next, then I wouldn't have this problem, hmm? Wait, free food? Uh, Nate, is it free food? I'll say I would do almost anything for free food. <laughs> No one likes Eric. Can we agree on that? Lucy, do you like Eric? The answer is going to be no. I already know. Yeah, I hate him. Yeah, I don't think anyone in chat or in game likes Eric. Broly preens Roman's hair gently, making a soft clicking sound. <laughs> I do know you like Rowan. Thank you for your support today. Gravity wells also do damage over time. Ooh, I like that. Gravity wells explode and do damage when they expire. Uh, well, which does more damage? Does the explosion have more AOE? Because if it does, I'd go with that. Um, but even if Dread does a, do a little bit of damage, it would at least kill things while it's in it. Um, I'm gonna go with Dread. Maybe? Should I go with the explosion? I don't know, chat. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll go with Finale. Since you wanted to wield me for love before, today, you spoke up on my behalf, but also let me steer the conversation. I appreciate it. I don't know how I've earned your loyalty, but I'm glad I have it. No. Decided not to give a gift right now. Bye, Crowley. Bye, Rowan. Crowley, that's a bit abrupt. But yes, I will look forward to the dungeon if you want to wield me. Perhaps we can go scene. Uh, I'd like Farewell. that. The first you said? Oh, oops. Fire Lucy. You and Eric have an unhealthy resonance. I would avoid him if I were you. Uh, I'm trying. And yet his orbit grows tighter. Take care. Thanks, Rowan. Rowan is weird, but they're growing on me. Don't like- I don't like them trying to kill me, though. That still might happen. Alright. I was say I was gonna end it after that date, but mm, more dialogue, so I might as well go through it. They did say they were sorry. 
All right, what do we have to trade for my mouse? It's suf sulfate free, whatever that means. Hmm. Whatever indeed. Here, have a look at my latest shampoo. It's good for feathers too. The ingredients and recipe are written on the side if you're curious. Shake it before using oh. it. Grapeseed oil? Rowan, are you sure this is for hair and not my lunch? The, the cassel soap portion is homemade from extremely high quality olives. And the peppermint leaves were wildly pampered before being transformed into quinta essential. Hey! You're not fooling me. This is all just ingredients for salad. Um, yo, Sunder, dude, uh, a lot of things that are good for hair can also be good for food. Allegedly, anyways. Like, uh, coconut oil and honey. Those, are, those can both be uh, healthy for your hair. So, um, you're a dummy. <laughs> All living things need proper care. Perhaps your hair and salad have more in common than you think. Ouch. We're not making that disgusting comparison as an insult. Hmm. On the one hand, if I ruin my hair, I'll have to go into hiding for a month. On the other hand, if I manage to level up my hair even a tiny bit, it'll make my hair. Um. It's really not a big decision, Sunder. Take it or don't. Ow. This is already taking too much time. How? Mm hmm? How? Shoot a loot? Why? What, what is it? What do you think, Goku? Would you risk these luscious locks on this oily soup? Uh, I trust Rowan. Uh huh. Uh, well, when you put it that way, I suppose I do too. Good point. Okay, it's decided. I'll take it. Uh. Great, do that. You also want this biggish polished uh, Crowley's enjoyed lately? It might work well on your claws. I only trust professional with these, but thanks anyways. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you need something to help with your, um, smell? Nah. Nah, I like my cologne, but for next month, I'm curious about your daily sunscreen regimen. Very well, until then. Thunder remember something warm in your ear as farewell, but Momo Solo, you can't catch it. Um. What? See ya. He winks on his way out. One seems puzzled by the exchange. You are reasonably powerful, and yet I'm surprised you let a creature like that get so close to you. Um, what about you? <laughs> I can take care of myself, but thank you for the concern. Speaking of which, I should probably revisit my protection boards if I'm indulging in curiosities. For that, my ancestors demand privacy. I'm sure you understand. Goodbye. They walk you to the door and proceed outward, disappearing around the back of the estate. All right, chat. Unless a new character shows up, like right now, I think I think that's what we'll call it for tonight. Oh, this is new. This is a shop. Anything, anything out here? Anything new? Anything? Trying to find the cat? Who, me? Or you? I wonder how many weapons there are. Like, did I get them all already? Like, I have four. There's the axe uh, guy that I'm missing, which is five. There's... There's two people that aren't weapons that I ignored. I don't want to the cat. You want it. Well, I thought you meant, like, you were looking it up. Alright, chat. I think we'll end the stream there. We're streaming for four, almost five hours now. Want me to? Uh, sure. Although I don't think that'll change anything. Look it up for me, we'll see. Oh, 
Oh. This would be all of my money if I were to buy everything that I need. Stretchies. La Rosa something, second floor. I don't think I've had pets. Well, that's this place, but I haven't been there in a while. Do I have to level up that guy's like thing? Is that how that works? Because I could do that really fast. Did I not get to the 8th floor yet? Do you think they sell moisturizer here? Dungeon pocket will appear at the cat at the cat statue hangout. Oh. I leave. Can I leave? I leave whenever I want. Well, it's enough for me to level them up, so. So, but then I have to, then I have to talk to him. Right at the beach, I see lots of surfers enjoying a windy day. After some squinting, you see a particular surfer out in the water waving at you. Uh, wave back. You see the surfer make a beeline towards you, ignoring the waves. You think he's smiling. Sooner than seems possible, he's jogging towards you, dripping with salt water. It's Jonah. Hey. Hey, Fugue, glad I caught you. Uh, I was just about to take a break anyway. Can I get you a beer? Uh, I'm not a big fan of beer. Gives you a small smile and buys drinks from a guy with a cooler passing by. The can is cold against your palm and is already sweating from the heat. Delicious. I hope it's soda. This guy is, uh, really awkward, huh? Yep. They both sit quietly and look out over the beach. Uh, as the waves roll in. Sorry. Awkward signs again. Sorry. I thought of all. Okay, I'm back. I restarted OBS. Yeah, I don't know why uh, the game keeps breaking on me, or OBS keeps breaking on me. It's it started happening Resident Evil Four. I thought it was because Resident Evil 4 was like too strong for my computer, but it looks like OBS just sucks for some reason. So I don't, I don't know why it's happening. It even happened while I was playing Splatoon. So I really need to look into why. Like computer, like I'm looking at my, my task manager, like my CPU is good. My memory is good. My memory is a little high at 80%, but like, I don't know what's happening be honest and it's only obs that crashes my game doesn't crash my the game doesn't hiccup at all when it crashes i just look over and it's like frozen so uh yeah i need to look up what the problem is 
I just don't know what it could be. Uh, I thought of all kinds of questions to ask you, but they're gone now. Poof. Maybe it's because I lost my job, but I don't feel like I'm thinking so clearly these days. I don't want to think at all. Maybe it sounds dumb, but I just want to listen to the waves. Uh, you lost your yeah. job? Yeah, it was really sudden too. Like one day everything's stable, and the next day, you don't know how you're gonna eat. Oh boy, it's a little too relatable. I worked in a grocery store and I was fired for turning into my axe form, basically. Harsh. I know, right? It's not like I did it to threaten anyone. The kid in the checkout line was asking his mom all kinds of questions about weapon people. And it was clear to me the kid was weapon curious. The mom didn't know what to say. So I just turned into an axe for a second, you know, so it'd feel normal and he wouldn't feel so alone. Oh god, the animation there was a little weird. His arms and body. Like that. See, not a big deal, right? Right. At least I thought so. It's just part of who I am. This mom complained to the manager and said I scared them. So they went to my... <sighs> they went my job. Oh well, more time for surfing. I'm thinking. Or, uh, not thinking. So maybe I could join you in dungeon time, right? I'm down. Yeah, definitely. Thousand and sips his beer looking out over the ocean. I have to wonder about our friendship, though, in the long term. Heavy attack sweep you strongly left or right towards enemies. But I really wish I didn't have to do violence to anything or anyone. It's like, why is it only doctors who swear to do no harm? Why isn't that everyone? Just you said you've been dating some weapon folk, but you seem so soft and vulnerable. Hmm. How can you trust them? I mean us, weapon people. We're made to hurt things. Um, I follow my heart. I guess weapons have a certain raw sex appeal, but do they? Chat? Have you ever looked at a weapon and you're like, man, if that weapon was a person, I'd smash. I can't say, I can't say I've thought of that. I've seen some cool weapons, don't get me wrong, but you know, can't say it's a thought that crossed my mind. I totally understand if you eventually decide we can't be like besties, we can just work together. To be honest, I just wish we lived in a world where I never had to be an axe at all. But it's cool! Thanks, I don't think so, but I appreciate you saying so. But uh, I guess it's nice to have more options for making cash, even if they're violent ones. These bottle and stretches looking out over the water. While I'm going back in there, let me know if I can help chop stuff. See ya. He waves and turns, striking his surfboard back into the waves. I mean, it depends on the personification of the item, but yeah, it generally as it crossed my mind, yeah. Hey, cuz, I don't know Sunder well, but... I heard he doesn't have the best track record. Just be careful, okay? Uh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I hope you didn't down. Uh, you didn't. It's okay to be negative sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, what? Uh, ah, uh, wait. Where, where did his message go? There it is. Oh good, I'm glad. Still gonna show you my brighter side next time though. In and out of the dungeon. Haha, -ha, okay. Smiley face. Alright. Dungeon time. I want to meet the cat. Let me meet the cat. Let me meet the cat. Let me meet the cat. I am thirsty. Ask me no questions, and I'll tell you no lies. Alright, the axiom is pretty basic. Oh, 
Oh my god, I almost died immediately. Alright chat, we're looking for a cat. Sure is a bunch of ice. Huh? Hmm. Wait, why are you looking at me? Want ice skate? Yeah, why not? I mean, I broke my leg ice skating as a teen. I'm trying to impress a cute boy, but maybe I could try again. That went really, really slowly. It didn't laugh. Please. But okay, just a little tiny bit. Bubblies, the soda. I have max soda and I have max health. Um. He hugs the very edge with both hands and slowly walks his way around the rink. Eventually he steps off, flushed and wide-eyed, the skates nearly fly off his feet. Well, that was fun. Can we stop now? Yes. Let's get back to it. Teddy bear. I can't say I really care about the treasures in this game. I'm not excited to be like, oh, what's in the treasure chest? Since it's always a recipe. And like, I don't even know how good any of these recipes are. to explore. Also, there is some sodas I left behind. I'm gonna go grab them. Hopefully they don't despawn. Alright, cool. They do not. No cat statue chat. Oh, 
That is a shame. I'm on floor seven. Oh, would there have to be a specific floor? I start at the lowest floor. So first floor is like the first floor and now I'm on floor eight. Yeah. I can't get to f I can't start at floor eight, but I got to floor seven. Is it random? Let's get those monsters on the chopping block. I didn't check floor one. I don't. I just assume it's it, all the floors are random, so like. Check floor one. I hate that he doesn't wear a shirt. Thank you for the hip pats. But I want to find me no the... questions, and I'll tell you no lies. But I want to find the cat. I want cat. Thing I've seen about the shirt. I get it, you know, originally, right? He's uh, at the beach. He's not gonna wear a shirt while surfing. Kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I assume the cat would be like an event that I can't miss. Well, I mean, I could miss it, but like not really. It'd be easy to find is what I'm trying to say. Okay. 
cool challenge. I just sat there for a second waiting for something to appear. Pepperoni pizza. Pizza. Cats. Hey, nice shirt. That's much better. He melts into a chair, stretching. They're so relaxing. What are those? Like a bunch of belt put on them. Uh, they're not yeah. even on. Oh, I know. But that's much of even more relaxation is the best. What would just associate you from the times I've relaxed before? Ah, uh, feels good either way. Ah, <sighs> we have to go now. Things are bringing a little longer. Ah, take your time. Thanks. Just Whoa. four more minutes. online not to give spoilers so you can meet the cat for a spoiler location uh, I thought it was the mall is it not the mall if that's the problem then I guess I'm done Yeah, if that's the case, I guess I'll just leave. Oh, I can't leave. Can I really not leave? What the hell? Is it by the Rocket Beach? Oh. Oh yeah, that place. But I thought I was supposed to do meet him first, and then he shows up at the club. that I can't leave the dungeon yet. Just trying to go by as fast as possible. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Well, this game was pretty fun. Um, my problem is I, I don't, I don't like any of the dating options. Uh, I already said that a couple of times, but you know, we got a you know, guy with daddy issues, guy who clearly has uh, problems and raises all of the red flags, a guy who is a stalker. A girl who is so boring that I didn't want to meet her again. Um, a girl who is probably going to be end up in jail at some point. Um, and a very, very depressed man. Oh, and uh, Rowan who... Yeah, something definitely wrong with OBS. Definitely something wrong with OBS. I don't know what the problem is. <sighs> well, thank you everyone who hung out today. 
Um, there we go. I like this song. F and chat D on chest. <laughs> Accurate. Thanks for awesome stream. Thanks for hanging out, Tark, and everyone who stopped by. It was a good stream. I'm glad you guys liked the model. I'll definitely have to make it a redeem in the future. Thank you for the head pats. I'll have to figure out how to ow, how to work it with, with some of the other redeems I have. Like, I got the head pats to work, and thankfully, if you wanted to ch change jackets and hoodies, that's the same. It's the same redeems as before. Um, so I don't actually have to like update my redeems whatsoever. But there I have the color changing stuff. This outfit, this model doesn't have that ability yet. I I could implement it. Um which it wouldn't be that hard, but it would take time and I don't know if it's worth the effort, especially since this is a temporary redeem. I've noticed a bulge on the thighs. Nice. Yeah, I got the, uh, oh, what did Vinyl call it? The Absolute Territory. Yes. Yes. I made sure that was there. Um, and when I mentioned making these, these, uh, thigh highs, I believe, I don't remember if Lucy asked for it, but Vinyl absolutely was like, hey, make sure to have that on there. And I'm like, well, don't worry. It'll be there. R63 Coco instead of 10. Oh, whoa. I'm glad everyone liked it. I didn't I didn't think the cattle weren't going to like it, but I'm, I'm very happy with the response that everyone gave. Um, it's just shorts, but did, he did say that. Right, right. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys. Well, you guys did like the model. I'll, I'll figure out what the redeem will be. Um. Maybe, maybe just temporary redeem three minutes. Maybe I'll do, uh, I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know. I'll figure things out. Um, I know Lucy suggested like getting fan art of rule 63 Coco. And I kind of, kind of look forward to that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what people do with this. I'm working on that. Nice, nice. Ow. We'll go ahead and raid someone. Um, Who should we raid, chat? Let me see. Looking forward to that. Me too. Me too. Funnily enough, I thought about doing this, this R63 Coco for a long time, so I'm glad I finally got to do it, and I was happy it didn't take too much time. Uh, my next big project chat, I'm going to be working on, um, on on more videos. Like today, I uploaded a new YouTube short uh, to YouTube and TikTok. I want to make, I want to try to make a short every week. Um, that's the plan, which I think shouldn't be too hard because they're like only 30 seconds to a minute long. Um, and uh, what else? What else? I'm losing my train of thought. Um, well, I think that's it actually. Just working on YouTube videos more. Uh, maybe I'll think about open up a Ko-Fi or something. Since making this model was actually not too too bad, so maybe sometime in the future, now that I know I can make female models, I can go ahead and make uh, maybe other models and be a VTube daddy. But yeah. Uh. Let's see. Who shall we raid, chat? Anyone else doing anything April Foolsies? Uh, I could raid Andron. I kind of raided him recently, didn't I? Um, who's also doing some kind of April Fool stuff. He's got a new model.
Let's do that. We're going to raid Andron. I hope, uh, I hope they're not ending soon. Let me double check. I think, I think they're not. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone who hung out today. It was a ton of fun. Um, as always, the raid message is moo! Make sure you moo at Andron for us. Um, my next stream will be on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I think I'll be playing the other April Fool's joke, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm really looking forward to playing that. So I hope to see you guys then. Thank you again, everyone who hung out tonight. Thank you, everyone who supported me for this new model and stuck around for the rest of the stream after the model reveal. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you, chat. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night and a good weekend.